Okay, and we are back, everybody, so welcome. We're gonna be doing some more Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door. I had such a fun time with this last stream, and I immediately wanted to play some more. The next thing I'm doing is taking the first Crystal Star back to the door. I believe that's what I was doing anyway. And because I have the ability to go slide to the side, I can just do that. Is there anything in here? I don't remember. I don't think I can do this over here without a uh, party member from later, right? Oh, yeah, you definitely. Okay. It's actually really, like, suddenly freezing today. So, sorry if I sound like I have a cold. I was out running errands all morning, and I feel like uh, the weather is just kind of, like, irritating me. Hang on. Jump on you. Take out all the enemies while we can. I already got the first stream of this uploaded as well. You guys are having a blast with it, too. I'm really glad. Oh, I only have two. Oh, well. No big deal. We'll get some more back when we're done. Sound good? Thank you. All right. I am the streamer, so I tend to overthink everything. Ooh, can't hit Koops. Trying to counter there, but I'm not getting it. No problem. Give him that little stylish. Oh, pop. I think I'll get that badge for beating him. I'm not quite sure, though. I need the flower points. Darn. I'm not sure if I'm even allowed to counter if my defense equals it out. Excellent. Um, when I did stream this, I had the audio for this game absolutely cranked up. Because I wanted to hear the music. I hope it's fine. I see it gets a little bit loud when it gets into a battle, because music like this is super quiet, right? I still need to use the paper airplane. All right, let's go. Yeah, I actually had some really good sleep last night. I decided since my sleep's been such garbage lately, I decided to um, kind of just turn my PC off and like read a book uh, for a few hours before bed, and it really did help a lot. People weren't kidding about that. Um, all right, Mario, hold up that crystal star. No video games, but the book I was reading was a video game book. I have all the novelizations of the Resident Evil games, and I decided now is a good time to start reading those. It'll give me something extra to talk about when I'm playing some of the games uh, this season, too. Come on. Listen to that beep. Yes, I get it, Magical Map. Look at that. Isn't it pretty funny how this map shows, like, seven locations? And it's supposed to lead to seven crystal stars? Well, I suppose, to be fair, Glitzville isn't there yet. Can't show that. Location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Heck yeah. Hey, uh, Mario, look there. The next crystal star showed up on the map. But, I'm sorry, but I don't have a clue where that is. Um, I think maybe we should take it to Professor Frankly and let him look at it? It's the woods literally behind Rogueport, though. No big rush, we're taking our time with this playthrough. I've been having a blast that way. Hmm. 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 No one asked you, Koops. When I read that in chat, I thought you were responding to a chat member, and I was worried people were fighting. <laughs> I see, I see. Crystal clear. Um, so you, can you tell us where the next crystal star is or not? It's in the Boggly Woods. The second crystal star is inside a great tree. A great tree in Boggly Woods, huh? One of the details that's really cool about this game, by the way, is that every party member has different dialogue if you have them out for each scene. So, if you mix up the party members as the game goes on, the cut some of the cutscene dialogue will be different, which is just a very cool touch. About those woods, I think some odd creatures live there. If memory serves, there's a pipe beneath the town that leads to those woods. Um, Professor Frankly, you should probably know, it's about Princess Peach. Mario got an email from her just recently. 
Her Highness said that the guys who kidnapped her are also hunting the Crystal Stars. Oh, and she said she doesn't even know where she's being held. Yeah. Uh-oh. Princess Peach's kidnappers are also looking for the Crystal Stars. What could they hope to achieve? Could the treasure be... Ugh, oh, too many unknowns. Unfortunately, the only clues we can rely on are the Crystal Stars in that map. Um, I guess all we can do is head to Bogley Woods to find that next Crystal Star. Yes, I recommend you do just that, and find it before the Princess's captors do. But don't be hasty. If you're low on items or health, drop by the shop and in first. I'll keep researching and learn more about the Crystal Stars and the Ancient Treasure. Alrighty. Now, we have some stuff to take care of in Rogueport, and first of all, we get to start Luigi's first, uh, part of the story. Hey, big brother! Fancy meeting you here! What a dink. Eh? Who, me? Oh, bro! I'm on an adventure! I have to rent rescue Princess Eclair of the Waffle Kingdom. Yeah, it's a bad scene, all right. She's been kidnapped by the evil Chestnut King. You gotta know, I met with some Waffle Kingdom cabinet members the other day. It was a pretty- it was pretty crazy, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Heck yeah. Oh, geez, thank you for all the gifts up there, friend. I appreciate that. Just like Luigi appreciates this story. Sounds good to me. Which part of my story you want to hear, bro? Waffle Kingdom letter. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. My big brother, that's you. Bro got a letter from Princess Peach and took off. Left behind as usual, I was cooking a snack at home when another letter arrived. We don't get so much mail, so I was thinking, huh, this is what the letter said. Sirs, my name is Cre uh, Crepe? That's how you say it, right? I am a cabinet minister in the far-off Waffle Kingdom. Our land has been attacked by the Chestnut King, who took our Princess Eclair. I ask, nay, beg for your assistance. The Waffle Kingdom needs your skills. I humbly request your prompt response, sirs. Sincerely, Crepe. Well, I don't remember it exactly, but I think it went something like that. With Mario, that's you. Bro gone, it fell to me to answer the plea. Hesitating only a teensy bit, I headed to the Waffle Kingdom to investigate. Oh no, first I wrote a note to myself about what I was cooking, then I left. Once I reached the Waffle Kingdom, I met Minister Crepe who filled me in. The Chestnut King had a kidnapped Princess Eclair and vanished. Apparently though, some oracle said a marvelous compass could locate her. This marvelous compass had been broken into seven parts by an ancient curse. And those parts had been scattered across the land. Can you believe it, bro? Each part of the Marvelous Compass was said to point to the next. And since one of the parts was embedded in the tiara worn by the princess, I surmised that once I collected all the parts, I'd find her. Smart, huh? The minister gave me the compass uh, base broken uh, at that. Not broken, spoken of in waff Waffler Fables. When it activated, the entire thing lit right up, indicating the Deep South. It was pointing me towards Rumble Bump Volcano and the Pudding Continent. So yeah, here I am. I'm sailing out of Rogueport for Rumble Bump uh, Volcano. It's probably going to be dangerous, but I got to rescue that princess. You want to hear what I've been up to? Just come find me, okay? Now, I need to know more about this guy. Who is this guy? Come on, you really need to ask me that? Give me a break, that's your brother Luigi. But I wonder why he's here. I'm sure he'll tell you if you ask him. Oh boy. Now let's go ahead and save. Hang on, is it Z button that brings down? There it is. Let's use the end and save and beat that guy blocking the side of town. Let's do it. Also, I was shocked about the Chocola Cola, but then I remembered that it's relevant in Chapter 5, isn't it? Here we go. Even though I'm a little stuffy today, I really wanted to play more of this. I had such a good time. Let's go. Be healed, come on. Did you sleep well? Now you're ready to get out there and face the world. See you again. You can go right to chapter two, but there's a bunch of stuff you can do in Rogueport between chapters. Save all game progress? Heck yeah. Actually, I should get her out for tattling. 
I love how that chest is just there taunting you the whole game. But I believe there's a glitch to get that, like, super early. By the way, um... Like, I mentioned party members having, like, specific dialogue and cutscenes. What's funny, though, is that if you glitch the game in sequence break, and you get a party member from later in the game, like, before you're supposed to have it for a certain scene, the character's dialogue will just say something like, text not found, like, in bright red. That's Gus. He's part of that band of thieves who call themselves the Robos. He looks like a total maniac, but he's actually a nice guy. Don't judge a book by its cover. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up now. You're an outsider. Past this point is the turf of, uh, Ishnail, head of the Robos. It's ten coins to pass through. Try to pass without pain? I'm afraid I have to whip you, but good. I can take you. What? You gotta be kidding. You think you can fight your way through here? I'm gonna make you eat your words, tough guy. Let's get this party started. Alrighty. Now, Goom, tell me the facts. That's Gus. He's super annoying and tries to take tolls from everyone. What happened to him being a nice guy, Goombella? Max HP is 20, attack is 3, defense is 0. All in all, he's pretty tough. Oh, and I've told you a million times, that pointy spear of his hurts if you stomp on it. I wonder if this guy watches people pass 365 days a year. Talk about a workaholic. Alrighty. There we go. Tattling everybody is so much fun. As a kid, I have no patience for it. Darn. Okay, now let's switch to Koops. We'll keep Koops up front. Oh, you know what I should have did first? I should have upgraded one of the party members. Oh, give me a break, dude. Um, usually I upgrade Koops first, but I am using Goombella a lot for tattling, so I think I want to upgrade her. Normally in a casual playthrough, I would ignore the Goombas and think they're useless, but... There's so much fun to use, honestly. Nice. As a kid, you spam bat uh, tattle all the time. I can see that. Hang on. I'm still dizzy, so no point spending the flower points. And stylishly miss. Okay, perfect. We got him. I tried to fight this guy immediately as a kid, too, and I regretted it so badly. I got messed up for it. Oh my god, really? Well, actually, that's good, but it doesn't really matter. What are you doing? Oh. The shy guy got so sick of the show, he went backstage and murdered one of the actors. Unbelievable. That's pretty funny. Crud, you dumb video game heroes always pull this stuff. It's ridiculous. You think violence solves everything, don't you, huh? Huh? Don't you? Actually, I do. I do think violence solves everything. I just unleash a bear and it destroys everybody. And this area is the turf of Ishnail, the Robo Band of Thieves. I don't know what brings you here, but if they think you're gonna meet the boss, ha! Eastside has some of the worst crime anywhere here in Rogueport. Man, everyone who lives around here is real tough, and street smart, too. I mean, when you don't have any money, you gotta be tough just to get by. And that's locked there. It's locked, you can't open it. <laughs> Ooh. I feel like I'm gonna suddenly cough. Ooh. Let me down a drink, why don't I? Oh, it's much better. That Swindle, the bandit. At least I hear he's a thief. I've never seen him steal. He's always whispering to Arfur about something. That's Arfur. He's always hanging around here. He looks totally suspicious, but apparently he lives by some super stern moral code. Let's go back here, why don't we? Notice the footprints even give you a hint about this? Look at that. Super secret. You've come all the way here. You must have seen some serious dangerous action. That's good. Danger's good. Believe me, I know. 
That's Pierre. He sure does seem to have a lot of free time, doesn't he? Girl, you've seen him for five seconds. Or it is, he's been busting his tail lately to catch the eye of the crime boss, Ishnail. And what's up? Oh, I get it, because he's a snail. Ishnail. What do you want, chump? You ain't got business here? Then beat it. What do you get off talking to me like nothing happened? Like there was no beating? Yeah, guys like you act real cool when you win, but when you lose, you're all like, wah. He's not wrong. Hey, you don't have much here, but make yourself at home if you want. Well, this guy's polite. That's Garf, part of the Robo gang. Pretty sure he's related to Gus. Looks pretty gnarly, but he's actually pretty cool. Don't judge folks on their looks. Also, yeah, thanks for gifting us up there. Everybody gets Teddy emotes here. That's Gus. He's part of that band of thieves called himself the Robos. Oh, it's the same dude, yeah. That's uh, Ishnail, leader of the thief band called the Robos. He really hates Don Pianta. I guess that's to be expected since they're bitter rivals and everything. He's got some issues about money, but he's okay otherwise. Who knew? He has a unique design for someone that just sits there. Let's see if I can get... Oh! I was going for the one up top, but uh, this is cool too. Is there a way to jump up from here? I don't think so. I think it's elsewhere you jump atop everything. Rogue Port's east side, considered dangerous here even for Rogue Port. This is Ishnail's turf. He's the leader of a band of thieves called the Robos. Then again, you can also find Merlin here. He can help your partners level up. Still, it's definitely too rough a place for a girl like me to walk alone. Art. Hint, hint, Mario. Excellent. Now let's take a look at this place. Hey, is this your first time in the Trouble Center? If you plan on using our services, I can explain them to you first. Need an explanation? Sure. Then listen and listen good. This Trouble Center is where people come with troubles. That's why it's named that. If you want to see what kind of troubles people have, check the bulletin board. If you're a nice guy, you'll choose someone and try to help them out. If not, not. Help someone out, they'll give you a reward, probably. Not a bad deal, eh? But remember, if you decide not to solve a trouble, you have to pay to cancel. You got that? Well, good. And go help someone out. Excellent. Let's start with Garf, because I know where he is. They call me Garf. I have lost a key, and thus cannot get into my house. It should be somewhere in Rogueport. I just need someone to find it. I'll be waiting for you at the house at the very back end of East Rogueport. Want to take on Garf's trouble? Sure. Do it and do it right. I can't remember where that key even is, but it'll open something up. Trouble Center is a fun place for side quests. Hey, where'd he go? Oh, he went outside the locked house. That's what he meant. When he said back of ro uh, back of the east side, I assume he'd be waiting there again. Darn it. Now, I don't think the snail is a Koopa. He's just a snail. You took on my trouble? You? Okay, then please find my key and be quick about it. If someone else finds my key, they'll be able to get my ha in my house, so I'll stand guard. I think I dropped my key when I went to the bad shop, but I'm not sure. Okay, let's go do that. I kind of wanted to stop in the bad shop anyway. I have everything I need to go into the Boggly Woods, but it's good to do stuff between it, between yeah, chapters. Hang on, let's make a save. We haven't had a crash yet, but I'm worried some cutscene might make the game risk it. And hang on, I think there's also something I can do up here. I see the key in the background, by the way. I can go get it. I want to see if someone's here. Ah, he is. Hey, you're Mario! Wow, this is so cool. Never thought I'd meet a celebrity out here. Ooh, I know. Do you want to make an investment, Mario? My name's Lumpy, and I'm heading out to Dry Dry Desert to prospect for oil. I've lived my life hoping to get rich quick, and now my chance has come. But I still don't have enough startup funds. No, I still need to see Merlin. <laughs> On the way back. Don't worry. Could you lend me some money? When a giant rat asks you for money, accept an initial of investments of 100 coins or more. 
No way, bub. Now, this is a good thing to do, I'm pretty sure. It looks like a scam, but... I'm pretty sure you want to do this. Thank you so much. You won't regret it. Now, I think I just talked to him after, like, one chapter or something. Oh, there's the dude who sells stuff here. Hey, 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 yo. Got all the hottest new products right here. Look no further. Get the fevered look of a man with a mind for goods. Want to buy something? So this guy's, like, items are randomized, actually. He's the also the dude who sells you the item that makes you look like Wario. I remember I'd always grind for it at the start because I wanted to wear that. What? No more shopping? Sorry to hear that, man. This is a limited time offer. I change my goods from time to time, so come back real soon. I don't remember if it's time-based or, like, how many, like, maps away you walk. Hey, valued customer, your contact lens is in. Please drop by our shop. Nice, I can go to the other side of town. I don't really need to do that right now, though. Hang on. You don't actually need to go to the other side of town until Chapter 3 starts. Or to get to Chapter 3, but I will just open this up for now. Did you bring me my contact lens, Mr. Squishy? Here you go. Contact lens. Oh, sweet relief. Thank you. Finally, the world is crisp and clear again. I can see. Oh, I'm so happy. I didn't use Tattle on the giant rat. Oops. I should do that. There's a mod that turns the Wario badge into a daisy badge. Like, daisy color scheme? Or, like, turns your sprite into daisy or something? Be careful from now on. People don't like they're having their stuff stomped on, buddy. Oh. Actually daisy. Oh, that's cool. Oh, so it's you again, huh? Mr. Stomp a lot? Well, my name is ZST. I may not look like a chef, but I'm actually quite good. If you bring me ingredients, my cooking still skills bleh, burst to life with culinary magic. Want me to whip up something up for you right now? Yes. What ingredients would you like me to cook with? Let's just give her a mushroom. Just so we can get something out of it. I'm trying to just show things off. We're not rushing through the game. She got a nice little cooking place here, but her window's busted. That goes into the back alley, too. Hmm. Sorry to keep you waiting. Not entirely sure you'll like this, but go on, take it. Shroom fry. Anytime you feel like it, feel free to bring me stuff to cook with. So I turned the mushroom into a better healing item with that. Okay. Lumpy's more of a weasel than a mouse. Okay. I may as well just use the in right quick here while I can. Hey, the rat. Um, I don't know if you missed it, friend. I literally did that a couple minutes ago. Let's go get the key here. I don't really have any money for badges, so I don't need to bother checking that out. Okay, we pick this up. Hit the save point. And before I give him the key, let me upgrade Goombella. How many shine sprites do what did I pick up? I don't think I missed any in the first chapter, but you only get... Um, okay, yeah, I only have three. Welcome to my, the home of Merlin, the super magician. I foresaw your arrival. I can aid you if you wish. With three shine sprites, I can power up your partners. Of course, that means I boost their attack power, but I also throw in a new move for free. So, which partner would you like me to power up? Goombella. Shall I power up this partner? Shazibi. <laughs> that sounds like a bad username. Shazubi. Bro, I remember this animation. It's cool. I have to say, doing a bit of talking here make is kind of helping me, uh, my throat and feel a little bit better here. Then you may go. And now she has 20 HP. Hang on, is there anything back here? No. Okay. 
Now that we've done that, right, let's give the dude his key. Did you find my key? Yes, my key! I can finally get inside my house again. Home sweet home, thank you. Please take this as payment for your efforts, all right? 20 coins. Not bad. You solved the trouble. Heck yeah. Hey, we don't have much here, but make yourself at home if you want. It's got a comfy little house here. Look at that. There's nothing inside. I can't get out from here. You can see there's a chest there, but you can't get to that without the paper boat. Come on. Anyways, I think we're all set. Let's go ahead and move on. All partners can be good, but I don't really want to use Flurry. Listen, I don't know if there's any Flurry fans in chat, but I'm sorry, but she just has one of the worst character designs in the whole series, and it has not grown on me at all. She's not even that good. The Weasel will be there next week, next time, don't worry. Hang on. I'm still taking a look around. Hey, I can't do this right now. There's a Shine Sprite up there, though. I spent enough time in Rogue Corps, and I want to head on to the next part. Mario, did you see that? That was one of the things Professor Frankly described. Yeah, let's do it. Hang on. Let's bump these fellas. I'm close to a level. Darn, Koops would actually be great here for this. Nah, we'll just do it like this. Goombella basically has super shoes before Mario now. And there's multibonk. Yeah, multibonk can go on infinitely, right? Or is it cap at five? Either way, this should do four. Yeah! Darn. Can't get the time on the counter for that. If I'm not mistaken, I have what I need to enter the Pit of 100 Trials now, right? Without glitches? Or is that, like, intended for later? Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna do it right now, but... I do intend to do all of the Pit eventually, and I will do half of it at some point, just so I can get the item upgrade. Isn't it- don't you need, like, a glitch to get into it before Hooktail? Because I'm pretty sure, like... Or wait, no, you need at least the ability to go, like, sideways, so you can just leave Hooktail's castle for that, can't you? Okay. So that's why people call it pre-Hooktail. They just leave the castle right away. This is making me excited to try out uh, Super Paper Mario on stream as well, too. And I do think Color Splash and Origami King are on the table as well. I'm, I know they're very different games, but I do want to give them a try at some point. Hang on. I'm definitely more looking forward to a Thousand Year, uh, uh, a thousand year Door remake, though. Hang on, yeah. All you gotta do is do this, and you can go up here. Yeah, that's how you get to it. I just wanted to come over and see. Hang on. Yeah, that's all you need. And going up there- oh, a Shine Sprite! Okay, it was worth the trip. I need two more to upgrade someone else. And you can't upgrade a, the same character more than once without an extra item, I'm pretty sure. Deepest level reach, zero. Record power bounces, six. Star pieces found, 13 out of 100. Danger, do not enter. This pipe is to the entrance of the pit of a 100 trials. First attack and bump attack badges don't work, so beware. I forgot about that little extra tidbit there. I remember when I first played the game, how, like, impossible that area seemed, but when I managed to beat it in both this game and uh, Super Paper Mario, it felt like a freaking event. Super Paper Mario is an extremely different game, for sure, but it's still, like, very good in my opinion. I didn't warm up to it too much because it was, d like, different from the first two, but it's definitely grown on me. Only- I think I only really played through it twice, though, so... Oh, what am I doing? I don't need to go back up there. I can just go through this. I think you could download it on- on Wii U when the shop was still open. 
but I have a physical copy. Eek! D don't eat me. Who's to say I won't? Huh? You didn't come to eat me? And you're not bullies? Guess again, nerd! <laughs> of course not. For real? You, boy, that's good. I thought for a second I might have an accident. You're one of those creatures from Boggly Woods, right? What are you doing here? What? Why do you know about me? No, you must be. You guys are working for those x knots aren't you? You chased me here. No, it's the end. x knots Easy there, kid. What in the world are you freaking out about? We're not gonna do anything to you, so just chill for a sec. Just tell us what's going on. Well, okay. This gang of bad guys who call themselves x knots came to where I live. They came inside our great tree and started tearing it apart and causing trouble. So, I've come all the way here looking for help. Mario, that sounds like those guys who attacked us in Rogueport, right? If they're the same guys, then they're definitely after the Crystal Star. Now that you mention it, they did say something about some Crystal Star thingy. But we punies don't know anything about crystals or stars. Say, could you guys help us out? Maybe chase them off? If you do, we'll give you a... What was it? Crystal Star? If you do, we'll have the puny elder give you that. I don't know what it is, but if it'll help us reclaim our tree, I'm sure the Elder will agree. So what do you say? Let's not waste any more time. I'm begging you. Really? You aren't joking. You'll do it. I guess, I mean, we can't just ignore them, right? And we do need to find the Crystal Star before those x not whatever guys do. Oh, thank you so much. This is great. I'm so happy. My name is Pu uh, Punio. Pleased to meet you. I'll take you to where I live. Follow me, okay? It's this way. Wait, hang on a second. I'm sure the puny elder said some button around here opened the secret entrance. Aha! There we go. And there's the pipe. We're going to monochrome land for a bit now. You can get to the woods we punies live in by going through that pipe. Okay, hurry, hurry. Thing I upgraded Goombella before coming here. Oh, dry throat. Chapter two. The Great Boggly Tree. I think when I was younger, I couldn't really appreciate how this place looked. I always looked at it and I was like, you know what? This place doesn't look that colorful. I think it looks kind of lame. But now, like, that I'm older and I appreciate, like, you know, more abstract stuff, I just love the music here a lot. It's so, like, dreamlike and magical. These are the Bogly Woods. They sure look the Bogling. Oh, I've got butterflies. Um, okay, just a bit further. We should be able to get uh, get to the great tree. The elder and her friends are waiting for us. Oh, and my little sister, too. Come on, let's go. Should use Tattle in all these maps. These are the Boggly Woods. Pretty surreal, huh? That's another good adjective for that. Uh... Looks like it's out of a picture book. Wait, does that work as an adjective? Oh! My brain power is frying. I'm too sick for this. Looks like it's out of a picture book. The whole game does, Goombella. It's pretty, but in an eerie sort of way, you know? Did streamer use a word incorrectly? Everyone freak out. Mwee! <laughs> Time to go to work, lovelies. Vivian, you understand what we've got to do, yes? Mm-hmm. A, find that Mario guy, and B, steal the map to the Crystal Stars, right? Surreal is adjective. Thank you. We can just do away with Mario and his friends, can't we? Or is that bad? Oh, bad things happen all the time, Vivian, but you're right about our goals. 
If my information's correct, Mario should be coming down this road quite soon. You must ambush him here and get that map. Hmm, what's this now? Vivian, what's that you're fawning over there? Oh, you mean this? I found that near that tree a while back. Isn't it a gorgeous necklace? It was so lovely I just had to pick it up. Hmm, Vivian, for shame, picking up someone's scraps? Disgusting. Greedy. But enough about that. Vivian, my dear pack rat. Bring out the sketch of that Mario guy you got from Grotus. Mwee. Eep. Wh what? I, I don't have that. You said it was way too important, so you took it. You should have it. Don't be ridiculous. I don't have that thing. You were in charge of it. You wretched little worm. Blaming me for something you probably screwed up. But I... Gah, gah. Oh, what is it, Marilyn? Huh? What's that? The mustachioed fellow. This is no time for such nonsense, you great oaf. Save your games for later. Save games indeed. Now, now. Where was I? Ugh. You, Vivian, don't tell me you lost our precious sketch. But listen, I... Look, it's not my fault. I never had the sketch. Silence, you dits! Such impudence. How dare you talk back to me like some rebellious child. It's clear to me that the only rationale your type understands is force. Or your punishment. I'll be taking that necklace you just found. Yes, so sorry. But, but Beldum... Oh, you're horrid. I'm so glad that I am, like, not a horrible older sibling like you are. What is it, Mr. Mustache? Leave us. Scram right now. I have no business with you. Uh, gah? Gah? Sniff. Sniff. Oh, what am I to do? This shady woman is certainly selfish and mean. I mean, what a total meanie. You see how cruel she is to her own sister? Wonder what went on between them. Guess that's the middle sister? She seems like the strong, silent type to me. Uh, I can't get a good read on this girl at all. This is the youngest sister of the three. The oldest one really picks on her, huh? I don't know whose picture they're talking about, but you think she really lost it? They said Mario. These are the Boggly Woods. Kind of a dream, a dreamily pretty place, isn't it? It'd be nicer if it weren't crawling with enemies, but what you gonna do? Sleepy sheep? Dang, look at the floor. The way the colors look. Let's whack them. Oh, there's the clefts. Not to be confused with cleffas. I don't think Goombella can hit them. But uh, she can tattle that piranha plant. Pale piranha. That's a pale piranha. You know about these guys, the famous piranha plants. This colorless subspecies is, adapt is adapted to Bogley Woods. Ah, the wonders of nature. Max HP is 4, attack is 2, defense is 0. If you try to jump on them, they'll totally chomp on you. Uh, oh, throwing a mushroom. I'll take that. Okay, let's do this. Keeping the goom up front. Darn. Timing was way off for that. Luckily, we got Power Smash just for this dude. And it fell on them anyway. Not quite enough. Almost there, though. Okay. Hang on. Should probably get Koops out for these enemies. Struck first. Go, 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 go. Doesn't do enough, unfortunately. We'll just take it out with a Power Smash. Power Smash is like the only thing that can really hit them outside of a POW block. Oops can do just fine, though. Oops is on a good old adventure. Darn it. I wonder, how different are their names in Japanese? 
Like, is Koops still called Koops? Or is he called, like, something else? Because obviously I know the term Koopa is still used in Japan. Like, just like, um, Goomba. But is, like, Goombella's name, like, a different, uh, pun? Um... I'd say let's go for flower points. Because last time I did health. And we'll take that mushroom. Oh, I'm full. I never use the sleepy sheeps anyway, so we can throw those away. Darn it. Unfortunately, it's gonna get ditched there. You got green tea? Sounds wholesome. Ooh, this is perfect for power smash, or sorry, power shell. Ooh, look at him break dance. You see that crap? That's what you gotta love about him. I could just use up this pow block and pick up the honey syrup. To be honest, I have a way to deal with the clefts now, so I don't really care too much. Let's do it. Goombas are called Kur uh, Kuribo in Japan. Okay. Nice. Oops, so humble. What a nice lad. By the way, I... It's kind of... I, it's weird that I haven't asked this yet, because I usually ask it, like, every time I play a beloved game from my childhood, but are there randomizers for Paper Mario now? I assume, like, the first two could have something for that. That would be kind of cool. Imagine getting, like, uh, different party members early in the game. Or could they not do that? Because I heard that the Paper Mario games are programmed in a way where sequence breaking, like, really breaks it. There, can you see it? That big tree. Yes, there are. Tell me more. That's what I was telling you about. That's where the punies live. That's home. Uh, of course, it's not just us in the tree. Lots of jabbies and piders, too. Piderman's there? Well, anyway, Mario, follow me. There's a randomizer for OG Paper Mario, I'm pretty sure. Okay. That's an in coupon. I gotta use up some of my items more, don't I? I'm sure that'll still be there, but uh, there's no reason to go over there yet. I don't think these, this item can despawn. Because it was placed there to begin with. Oh, no, it can. Well, that's a little lame. Oh, well. There goes the seven coins the inn would have cost me. Big tree. There's a shuffleizer for TTYD, not a true randomizer. See, I should probably explain what I mean. From, like, watching speedruns, I know this. Um, so, say, for example, you do a glitch that gets you into the area for Chapter 5. The, because of the way the game is programmed, it updates everything to in the game even in Rogueport, to be, you know, for Chapter 5. So it can just lock you out of doing a bunch of stuff. So that's why I'd assume it'd be hard to randomize this game. Aha. God, this music is so good. Young Me just had, like, no taste. I wonder if Dylan changed his mind about this, too, because I know he also thought this chapter was kind of boring and ugly to look at. Uh... Oh no, what's the matter? Oh, I have Koops out. It's fine. Uh, well, take a look. This door wasn't here before. Someone just installed it. And I can't open it. I thought I could finally save everyone. I'm a fool. Hey, don't take it so hard. It does look sturdy, though. What do we do? Um... Um... Hmm... Yeah, hmm... Got it. The base of the great tree sure is big up close. I mean, wowzer. Seriously. Must have watched over the Bogley Woods for more than a thousand years. That's insane. Long ago, the puny elder told me about a secret entrance somewhere around here. We can get in through there. I'm completely sure of it. Problem is... I doubt finding it is going to be easy. I mean, it would it won't be labeled secret entrance. What should we do? 
How are we supposed to find a secret entrance? It's secret for a reason, you know? Well, it's hidden by this invisible thingy. We need to find and remove the thingy. Boy, but removing a normal thingy sounds tough enough, let alone an invisible one. Uh... Oh, got it. Flurry. Surely Madam Flurry's powers can help us. Flurry is a refined and dignified lady who lives in these woods. The Elder says she's a wind spirit who can wield the powers of the air with ease. You see where I'm going with this? She can use wind power to blow the thingy away. Well, it won't hurt to try. Flurry lives in the deepest corner of the woods, so... Let's head back in the direction we came from. Okay. Okay, Shuffleizer shuffles items, coins, shine sprites, star pieces, and badges. For example, a star piece tile could have any one of the above items. Non-story shop items get shuffled too. Yeah, that's a little bit- that feels a little bit too basic for like a long playthrough of a game like this. But it's cool that people do it. Ah, these woods are the most wonderful in the world. Yes, indeed. Building a house here was just the finest idea I ever did have. Oh my, yes. This place is so different from the bright flashbulbs of the world I'm used to. Such peace. This negative image of the real world soothes my body and soul. But what's even better is that I, Madame Flurry, grow ever more lovely here. Plus, those squishy, adorable little punies that live in that tree are so nice to me. But I suppose if I stay here too long, I'll begin to crave hustle and bustle before long. Oh my, it's happening even as I speak. Already I feel the need for drama. That moment of exhilaration, when the spotlight shines down on the stage, on me. Surely I was born to be an actress for the ages. Here we go. It's settled then. I shall rise again, but before I make my stage come back. I simply must whip my body and mind into shape. I'll just have to put on some makeup and my beauty and make my beauty even more beautiful. Wait a moment. No! It's gone. Gone, I tell you. My. What's gone? There we go. Oh, the end coupon respawned. I guess it does do that. Cool. Genuine question. Anyone in chat? Is Flurry your, your favorite party member in this game? If we head straight in this direction, we'll see Flurry's place in no time. I'm only just seeing people saying no, no, don't like her, no. <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not a big fan of her design either. It just looks like, eh, weird. There's a puffball. Well, that speeds things up. Let's go ahead and tattle the Cloud Puff, or the Dark Puff. She's not even that great as, like, as a party member in battle, either. That's a Dark Puff. It's basically a tiny, mean Thunderhead. Max HP is 3, attack is 2, defense is 0. Sometimes it'll charge itself with electricity. Don't touch it when it does. Youch. You know what I mean, right? Bzzz. Shocking. After it charges itself, it'll totally zap you with lightning. Beat it as fast as you can. Let's do this now. Oops, no flips. I think Flurry has, like, the most out-of-place looking design. Both backgrounds fell, and it looks weird. Like, you have... A lot of the party members look really cool in this game, except Flurry. I just love how they take, like, existi existing Mario species. I don't need to pick that up. And they kind of just, like, give them a little little personality. I know the meme is just, you know, hey, it's a Goomba with a hat, but that Goomba with a hat is a lot more fun than most Goombas. Um, hang on. Okay, good, I can hit the cleft. She also has a hat and a ponytail. Oh, that fell. Now let's just bonk you before you use this. Darn it. Oh, 
Go ahead and do that. You got seven star points. Perfect. Thunderbolt. Hang on, you know what? I was about to use... What's the shortcut for gear? Okay, it's up. Use the honey syrup. Good, good, good. Thunderbolt. You know, maybe I should grab some of those coins. Just the one. If we want to get over to that ledge to the right, I think we got to fly in plane mode. Oh, hey, Mario, can you see that tunnel-like opening on the ledge wall? Goombella's just like, here's your hint. Oh, and she fell, but she just left right up. I didn't really trade my star pieces. I'm probably going to get the expensive ones like Power Plus for the Pit of 100 Trials. I don't want to use Danger Mario stats because it's way too easy if you do that. But it's it's cool that you can do it. Oh, I, dang it. I had the snap back when I turned. I'll be upgrading Coops when we get back. I'm not going to waste any upgrades on Flurry. <laughs> oh, Quake Hammer. That's a good one. Uh, it ignores defense, if I'm not mistaken. Wearing two or more of these requires more FP. Okay. I don't really use Power Bounce, so I could just put on that and... Power Jump again. Excellent. This is the outer part of the Boggly Woods. The flowers are almost like a carpet. Hey, and it, isn't it totally rare to find a white leaf tree? What kind of tree is that? It's pretty cool. Darn it. Hang on. Yeah, the Yoshi's cool. You guys, like, I'm not spoiling any party members that you don't see on the title screen, but everyone knows you get a Yoshi in this game. But if you don't know, there's a mechanic that uh, the Yoshi will appear as a different, like, you get, like, a random colored Yoshi, essentially, and it's pretty cool. Hang on. I recall I usually end up getting the pink one. The pink one's pretty cool. It's grown on me. He has, like, a different hairstyle with it, too. Hang on. Let's go this way. I... It's random, but I'm pretty sure there's, like, um... It, it's based on, like, how much, uh... How long you take during a certain section in Chapter 3. It's time-based completely. Okay, so it's not fully random, then. Look, there in the distance, that's what I was telling you about Flurry's place. So I guess we're gonna see how long my extra tattling will lead to a different Yoshi. Let's see. That's what I was telling you about Flurry's place. Seven coins for one flower point? Don't mind if I do. This is the outer part of the Boggly Woods. The flowers are almost like a carpet. Oh, I did just do this one, my bad. If I'm not mistaken, isn't that why the speedrun always gets the same color Yoshi? Because obviously they're doing everything optimally. Here we go. Go, go, go. Uh, excuse me? Um, maybe she isn't here. I wonder if she went for a walk in the woods. What a totally nice house. Super coordination between the red walls and furniture. I'm so jealous, it's not even funny. I have, like, no sense of interior decoration. I have to admit, something I always have always wanted is just a fancy house in the middle of the woods where no one can bother me for the rest of my life. larry has got that going on. She living the dream. Madam Flurry, hello? If you're here, say something. Eek! No, out of the question. You mustn't come in here. Uh, Madam Flurry? 
Are you there? Is that you? What are you doing? No, oh, wait a moment. Those darling, squishy little footsteps. Is that you, Punio? Oh, it's been an age since I saw you last. You poor dear, is there something you need? Oh no, I feel a sneeze coming. Well, the thing is, we have a problem that only you can help us with, ma'am. Hold up. Oh. Okay, I muted just in time. That click was just me, like, muting the mic so I could sneeze. You didn't hear me, I hope. Ugh. There's this stupid door we can't seem to open. The Great Tree's entry hole is blocked. My puny friends are inside, so they're in a pickle. And Mario needs these crystal stars. It's a train wreck, really. If you can't find the secret entrance for us, we're done. Oh, is that all, dearie? You came all the way here just for that? My adorable little punio, you know I would do anything in my power to help you. However, lamentably, I'm in a bit of a bind myself. I just cannot come out. Wow, what's the matter? It's somewhat embarrassing, but I never go out without my favorite necklace. I just can't find the blessed thing. I suspect I dropped it on my daily constitutional. I'd be simply scandalized if anyone saw me without it. I shan't be going out. I absolutely must have that necklace to highlight my beauty, and that's that. Oh, I totally know how you feel. When I go out, I am all about the accessories. Goombella, don't encourage her. Hey, wait a sec. You lost your necklace? I'm having deja vu big time. I swear someone just said they found a necklace. What's that? Do speak up. You, whoever just spoke, do you have some clue about my necklace's whereabouts? If you do, you must help me. Please be a dear. Find it and bring it back to me. If you could, then I'd be delighted to help my squishy little friend, Punio. Don't worry, Madam Flurry. I'm sure Mario can find your necklace. Where it is, he's super. You can do it, right, Mario? Nah. Huh? Did you just say, nah? What's wrong with you? Let's go find your necklace. I'm sorry to trouble you so. Alrighty. I said no, but okay. I'm not getting paid for this. Where's my compensation for the errand? Beldum, I told you, blaming me for losing the sketch and you had it. Silence, you twit. Now's not the time to get hung up on stupid details. Um, excuse me. On the subject of stupid details, it's silence you X now. We don't call it twit anymore. We must study the sketch. Gah? Gah? Wow, this Mario guy sure looks manly. Check out that bushy mustache. How handsome. I like how the icon is Mario's face from the, from the N64 game. You know something, though, my lovelies? I swear I've seen this gentleman before. Ah! He's Mr. Mustache! g g, -g I, I don't believe this. Vivian, this is without a doubt all your fault. I'll be dealing out some strict punishment later, my dearie. Oh, yes, I promise you that. What? That's not fair. You're the one who had the... Silence, you swirl brain. Don't you cop that insolent attitude with me. Oh, this is not fair. And about that necklace, I was thinking of returning it to you, but no more. Aww. And since you caused this problem, you have to figure out how to find this Mario chump. Uh, guh? Well then, okay. So mean. Now let's go have fun. Oh boy, that sneeze messed me up again. I feel like I did at the start of the stream. All it takes is one sneeze and BAM! You're feeling the crap. Let's go, go, go. Which means hold left for a little bit till we get back. Oh, hang on, there's a battle here. Let me jump. Take him out. No problem. I like how the, the game kind of alternates between spiky enemies and flying enemies. It did that in the Hooktail Castle as well. It's like a way for you to switch, like encourage you to switch between Koops and Goombella. 
Because obviously Gumbella can't hop on the piranha plants, but Koops can just sweep them. But Koops can't reach the puffs when they go up. And vice versa and all that, you know what I mean? Beldum is gaslighting Vivian. Yes, she is. Oh, more puffs. Take him out. It's called a dark puff, but it looks very gray to me. White camera could be useful as well. It's like my own version of PowerShell. That worked out pretty perfectly. I wonder what the how the RNG works for like determining whether or not the background falls forward. I suppose gray clouds are considered dark clouds IRL. Storm clouds. It's kind of funny how they brought back the puff enemy, but there's no like larger version like um because like it was chapter seven in Paper Mario One, the clouds were like an antagonist and they had like a big boss one. They feel kind of weird to be brought back as just a singular enemy type. Mamma mia, look at those flips. Feels so satisfying to do. We got five star points. Punio is still with us. Trudging right, right behind us. Can I pick this up yet? No, I can't. I remember this place being a lot larger, but I'm really breezing through it quickly. Oops. Again, I think the, the issue is, like, as a kid, you know, you only have so much time to, like, play these games after school and all that. So, like, it feels like stuff takes a lot longer to get through sometimes, I feel. Let me try this. Stylish off it, too. Darn it. Let's get that timing. Darn it. I'll just use Quake Camera again. Too lazy to switch to Koops. Mamma mia. It's only a little bit, but it adds to the extra level. What's the two star power? Oh, that's Earth Tremor. Oh, <laughs> Great positioning here. You know what? Maybe I should do that. I think I remember how this one goes. Oh, yeah, I think I remember this. Come on. Excellent. First try. That's so nerve-wracking. Beautiful. I did kind of use up some points and stuff there, but it's okay. Hang on. Um. Hang on, I should put Koops out. Style. Heck yeah. It's weird how, like, games did feel, like, much longer as a kid, though, for sure. Hang on. One of the things that always, like, trips me up to think about is how, when I was a kid, I would replay, like, the same, like, seven games over and over. Because I would only get, like, a couple new games through the year on, like, my birthday and Christmas. But nowadays, as an adult, especially as someone who can even, like, buy games as a part of their job, I have so many games to play, and I'm just never gonna get to them all. It's like every day is Christmas now. God, that sounds magical, doesn't it? Hang on. Let's go and do this. Hang on. Use that honey. I need to make space for items anyway, so I'm just going to use both. 
As a kid, I'm just- I was too stingy to use any items, but it's like, honestly, I can get more easily. Well, if it isn't Mario. Shiny mustache or no, you can't be too bright if you came here looking for us. I don't need to tattle these three, by the way. In fact, not tattling them will help me show off something later. You'll see what I mean when it comes to it. But I want Goombella's attack power. Muihihi, and you know why? Because we're waiting for you. Ooh, that's them. They're the ones who had the... Wait a minute, what? You've been waiting for Mario? What's that supposed to mean, you weirdo? Muihihi. I have no quarrel with you, but I simply cannot allow you to hunt for the crystal stars. And so, I'll be taking that little map of yours just as soon as I deal with you. Hey, what's your deal? How do you know about the map and the crystal stars? Have you been talking to Princess Peach, or... Wait, what am I saying? The real question is, who the heck are you freaks? Mwehehe. <laughs> Those who seek names are often disappointed, but if you insist, I'll tell you. We are... The three. Oh, you talk. Shadow beauties. The three shadow beauties? Vivian, you nincompoop. What are you babbling about? It's shadow sirens. I don't see three beauties. I see two. And then there's you. You're, and you're plug ugly. Oh, that's just mean. Oh, right, sis. I'm sorry. It's just you always call us lovelies and... It's just a figure of speech. Oh, you've got some fierce punishment coming your way. Aw, oh, gee whiz. I hate being punished. That's for later, though. First, we deal with this Mario and friends. Let's do it, my lovelies. Or rather, my lovely and ugly. Marilyn, Vivian, the might of the three Shadow Sirens will be more than enough to win the day. Okay. They got their own battle theme. It's most unlucky that our sights are set on you. Well, unlucky for you, of course. Marilyn, Vivian, let's show them precisely what we can do. Gah. Yes, sis. Alrighty. Now, I'm pretty sure Vivian is the strongest, that, and I should take her out first, but out of respect, let's kill you first. Uh, what are they throwing? Come here, you. Take him out. Now then. Oh! Now it's up to you! Ow. It's only a problem if they use their spell. Unless Vivian uses, like, the fire one. That's what I'm worried about. I'm not sure if they can even do it in this battle, though. Now. Oh, wait. I have power jump on. Nice. Oh! I just had to drop a bucket on her. I wasn't even attacking her. Ow. Gah. I think Marilyn has the most HP. Oh, God. Alrighty. Sorry. Oops, I missed the action command. Ow. Gotta finish the battle. Hang on, may as well just do this. Ah, uh, only that much. No problem. And there's 30. They didn't do any spells, probably because I killed them too fast. Mwee ha hack Ooh, maybe we were just a touch overconfident. Marilyn, Vivian, you lumps. We would have won if you two pulled your weight. <laughs> yes. Both of you, prepare for a world-class punishment session when we get home. Uh. Sorry, these pearls are mine. That's Flurry's necklace. Yes, let's take it to her. Hang on, wasn't there a save point back here? I feel like I should take the chance to save as much as possible. Just in case. You never know if, like, the game will crash. 
What, what, what the hell are you doing here all of a sudden? Hello, little friends. I came to warn you that the shadow sirens were added here. Hello. It looks like I'm too late. That's that totally gross guy, Dupree. What the heck is that guy doing here? Oh my gosh, you don't think he followed us here because he's infatuated with me, do you? No? Oh, what? It's not like... What? Like it's not possible? That's kind of insulting, Mario. Okay. He came here to warn us, and, and Goombella's just gonna dump her insecurities on me now. Let's just get a move on. I didn't know he actually showed up there. Probably because I've never gone to save at that point. That's pretty cool. I'll take this now. Jeez, Goombella. Goombella is sassy. Oh, my depth perception failed me there, didn't it? No problem, though. I can only power smash the cleft. Regular hammer's too weak. Mamma mia! I'm so close to a level. There's a heart block near Flurry's house. I can just use that to fully heal up. You got five star points, chap. Left. Ah! You know what? I'll take you out, too, because I can. I want that level. So last I upgraded was flower points. But I don't really need to upgrade my badge points. Because, like, I don't really need anything right now, right? Hang on. I should test if Quake Hammer... No, I don't have enough. Never mind. Oops. And I failed that. Fantastic. I have enough for a power smash. So we'll just wait a turn. Got him. Oh, he's doing that. That's great. Let's just do this. Mario cannot frickin' hit anybody now. Or Goombella, sorry. Oof. All because I missed that action command with Goombella. Somet ah, darn it. Sometimes the timing trips me up on the ones at the very far back. Mm. Personally, I think I should take flower points again so I can keep spamming attacks without issue. You only need to worry about HP, like, late game. If you're going for, like, the Pit of 100 Trials, yeah. Okay, nothing else there. We open the thing by hitting the switch. Now let's do this. Well, some enemies just have weird timing. Eh, like, how do I say this? Like, when, en when the animation goes to jump on the enemy that's furthest at the back, sometimes it feels weird. Or, like, land in your jump. It's not a big deal. Hang on, let's power jump you. Hey, there we go. Okay. Easy enough. Welcome for one. Oh, come to think of it, it only seems to be happening with the clouds right now. I wonder if I'm just guessing their hitbox wrong. Because their puffiness. Who knows? Either way, I'm still winning. I just healed through, um... Leveling up, but I'll take the extra flower points through that. Thank you for the sub there, friend. And take this now, but Voltrums are kind of ass, aren't they? May as well just sell it later. For, like, the seven coins. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Ready to see a funky little scene? I can't go for Goombella stylish because it's just always it's so close to the action command that it just messes up messes up the uh, the ladder. Oh, you delightful fellow! You found my necklace. I'm besides my uh, beside myself truly. But you still mustn't see me. Please leave the necklace by the door and wait a moment. Oh, yeah. 
I think you can cook the Volt Shroom, that's true. Oh, splendid! Oh, so ravishing necklace. I'm awash with joy. And now the porn music starts playing. And then this thing walks out. Oh my word, Mario, is it? Are you the heroic little necklace hunter? Well, my, my, my. Aren't you a fine specimen of a man? Yes, indeed. I simply must thank you for your graciousness. But, how to do it? Hmm, perhaps if I grabbed you and gave you a little sugar? Here I come, handsome. Time to give you a proper thank you. Pucker up. It's more like she's kissing my shoe there. The ghoulm is dead. Oh, Mario, you are just the cutest little thing I've ever laid eyes on. Yes, you are, and that's that. So tell me, are you truly looking for the crystal stars? The very same crystal stars spoken, spoken of by all the lowlifes of Rogueport? Mmm, a danger-filled search for beautiful jewels. How absolutely marvelous. And here I was thinking how frightfully bored I was. It's time for a change. And besides, I do declare, that plush mustache of yours has completely swooned me. A man as manly as you must attract all sorts of trouble, and I want to keep you safe. So I dare say, I'll be joining you on this little adventure. I assume that's fine, Mario. Flurry joined your party. Hey, don't worry, it gets weirder. Flurry's ability, a primer. Press X and Flurry will exhale strong gusts of winds that can blow things away. If she blows in the direction of an enemy, she can make its head spin for a bit. Hold down X to make Flurry exhale continuously. That's right! What is Mario grabbing when he does that? Hmm? She can also do a body slam in battle, squashing enemies with her stage presence. Well, that's a polite way of putting it. She can also aid Mario by using her Gale Force attack to blow enemies away. Yeah, it blows them away from the battle without giving you experience, right? This is wonderful. It's so nice that Flurry likes you, Mario. Really, it's great. And even more importantly, Flurry's chosen to join us. Let's go to the Great Tree. It's useful in the Cor uh, Cortez fight. Is it? Does it actually work for... I don't remember how that fight actually goes, to be honest. Hang on, am I able to, like, go in her room now? Could tattle in there. No, I can't. I think you can do that later, though, right? Maybe next level, just take HP or something again. And then do badge points. Because I really am not hurting for badge points until I go back to Rogueport to prepare for the next chapter, right? You know, last time I was kind of bold and, and thought I could do chapter 2 and 3 in one stream, but I think that's pushing it. Chapter 3 could take a while, and it's something... Chapter 3 is definitely one you want to settle in for, because it's very story-based and it's a lot of fun. I don't want to do that, like, feeling like I got to rush to the end, right? Hang on, we can battle with her. Let's show off what can she can do. Uh-oh. Let's go ahead and just power smash you here. Mamma mia. Ooh, the stage don't like you. Now, body slam. Gale Force also costs four. The cursor moves on its own, you have to just kind of move it. Move it towards the thing, but sometimes it just bumps out at the end, which is cool. Backtracking happens in Chapter 2, yeah. It can be annoying. Can I body slam that thing? I don't think I can. Oh, it looks like it's about to fall. That's what she does. You see that? Her attack is just... Like, regular damage. Why use her over Koops or Goombella? 
There's just no reason to. Excellent. Let's do that. I don't remember the stylish input for that, but it's okay. You use flurry when you need to, and that's that's that. Can she hit spike enemies? I don't think she can, but correct me if I'm wrong. May as well just keep her out. We just need her to get in. Hang on. Uh, I just realized there's a hole in my sock. I hate that feeling. Hang on. Peach, I'm okay. Premier issue. Oh, good, spam. Rogue Port today, bringing you all the up-to-moment news as it happens. We now have details of yet another incident in, at the parlor in West Rogueport. Outraged by the high Pienta prices, Goomfrey, age 30, is suspected of violently shaking the Pienta changer. Age 5? <laughs> Wait. Isn't that, is he talking about the machine or a person that works there? Causing the Pienta changer's alarm to sound. Okay, why did, why did they put the age of the machine? <sighs> That's weird. Hang on, I'm just moving something out of the way. Which led to the Pianta Changer ceasing to function for a brief period. The parlor was forced to close down temporarily. The victim was quoted as saying, I am a machine, no matter how hard I am shook, I feel no pain. End interview. Bro, I never read this stuff before. This is funny. Shop reporter go. Get all the hottest shopping news about all the hottest shopping spots in the world. If Petalburg's your destination, you can't miss the shop that's been the talk of the town for the last 20 years. Nifty Shop. The friendly owner has long been thought to be the most eligible bachelor in town, but word is he's secretly in love with the girl at the inn. The wise and witty shopkeeper had this to say, You only live once, so enjoy it while you can. Shop now at good old Nifty Shop. Cooking for rookies. Interested in cooking but don't know what to cook? Try our chef's delicious suggestions. Today's yummy recipe, fried shroom. Just season your mushrooms, saute them up, and they're ready for the dinner table. Editor's note, we hope you enjoyed RDM's premiere issue. You can look forward to future editions coming your way soon. Published by the Rogueport Restoration Committee. A uh, committee. Ugh. A guy just shook a five-year-old machine. Ugh. I can just imagine that interview in, in video like format. They're just interviewing the the machine like that. I just find it really funny that, that they put the age of the machine there. I never read that stuff like at all. So it's, oh, it is labeled secret entrance. I forgot about that. That's the secret entrance. We can finally get inside. Here I go. Aren't punies just the most precious little things? Mario, I feel I must ask, did you know that I used to be a rather famous actress? I was a diva of the stage. I was known as Madame Flurry the world over. But the filthy air outside the spotlight repelled me, so I came to the woods. And soon enough, I glimpsed the beauty of these punies and their pure little hearts. It reminded me of my own innocence as an actress, and that made me realize I shall ever love the stage. I must feel the spotlight shine on me again. I must. As you can see, these dear little punies help me find my true self. That's why I must help them however I can before I go on my own adventures. Mario, can you hear me? Having a tough week? Glad to watch? Well, that's good to hear, friend. I hope the Paper Mario streams are cozy. Check it out. I was able to open it from the inside. Come on over here. The time has come for me to repay my debt to the punies. Come along, Mario. All right. Don't need you anymore. Get in the back pocket. Hurry up. Go inside. That's Punio of the punies. He sure is a hard-working little fella, huh? Don't you just want to cheer him on? I always root for the underdog. Or whatever he is. Too bad this place isn't filled with teddies instead. That would make for a much more wholesome chapter. I'll never shut up about bears, because they're wholesome. Uh, hmm, weird. Normally everyone's right here. What the hey? Hey, Elder, everybody, come out. 
Hello? What? Who are you guys? How'd you get in here? Whoa, dude, is that... Isn't he that Mario guy? What? He is? Oh, we better get him then. But dude, Lord Crump told us to tell him immediately if we found Mario, remember? Idiot, use your head. If we capture him, we'll get all the credit, man. Duh. Oh yeah, right on. Let's rock this jump. One, two, three, break. Yeah, but doesn't Gale Force, like, prevent you from getting EXP? I don't really want to use it that much anyway. Oh, hang on. This is a good opportunity to tattle these jumps. That's an x knot. It says here it's classified as enemy combatant. That description stinks. You think it means they're just low-level foot soldiers? HP is 4, attack is 3, defense is 0. They drink these potions that make them all big and burly, then they attack. One's easy, but if there's two or more, watch out. Use special moves and items. Let's do it. It's the best strategy in a level 1 run. True. Is it possible to beat the game at level 1? Oh, he was slow as hell there. I assume you'd have to glitch past a lot of fights to ignore that much experience. Or is the idea that you just upgrade badge points over and over and not use them? That would that would be uh, one way to do it. Crud, that stung, man. Dude, maybe reporting back to Lord Crump isn't such a bad idea after all. Pretty slick work handling those guys, Mario. Seriously, way to go. Question remains, where did everybody go? What could possibly make everyone leave? Finally, somebody shows up. What are you doing hiding back there? Come out for Pete's sake. I found us a powerful ally. He he's huge. Uh, you sure your huge mustache man will try to eat us? Huh? Hey, who's that? Who else is back there? He's massive. I don't like him. He'll crush us. Nice stash. Scares me. So burly. Now, don't worry, everyone. This is Mario, and he's our friend. He's here to help. All those bad guys, Mario will stomp every one of them. Just like those last goons. Is this it? There are so few. Well, we'll have to make do. Let me formally introduce Mario. Wait. How do we really know this burly fellow is our ally? He might be one of them. Cuniper, what are you saying? He's not one of them. Listen, we can all fight alongside Mario and chase these goons out of here. We can take back our tree. We can take back our homes. Ha! Big bad Punio, listen to yourself. Trying to sound all important like... You have no idea the kind of troubles we've been through while you were gone. What? What are you talking about, Puniper? And why are there so few of you here anyway? What happened to everyone? Well, they've been captured by those goons. The Elder, everybody, including your sister. What? Uh, Petuni? Yeah, tell me it isn't so. Oh, it's so all right. She was taken off somewhere with the rest of them. They said it was because we wouldn't tell them where to find some crystal thing. We told them we never heard of it. Oh, poor Petuni. Well, that absolutely tears it. We've all got to go look for them right away. What are you saying, Punio? We can't do anything to those giant goons. Besides, they aren't alone. The cursed Jabby tribe is in league with them. They're hoping to make this tree their own once we've all been driven from it. This is it for us, the end. And adding this hairy old man to our ranks won't help a bit. How can you say that? You can't know that. We have to try, don't you see? Think about it. If we all get together, we can take care of any stupid jabbies. So who's with me, huh? Come on, everyone. Let's pull our strength. 
Ha! Punio, Punio, Punio. You'll have to convince me because I think you're nuts. What's that supposed to mean? Tell you what, you and Mr. Mustache there can get the revolution started. If you can free our friends who got locked up somewhere in the tree, then I'll join your little crusade, huh? Like that'll ever happen, please. Fine, we'll show you. Right, Mario? Right? Come on, follow me to glory. Let's go help him. That's Puniper of the Punies. He sure is big for a puny. Too bad his head is big, too. Ha <laughs> ha. Insulting him. Ha! I say again. Ha! By all means, help our friends. Or are you quitting now? Telling me there's no hope. That it's impossible. Bro, you're the one who's, who's given up. What are you trying to say? May as well just do this. No big deal. Okay, let's have a look around. Yeah, there's no way in hell I can do all of Chapter 3 in one go as well. I think doing one chapter per stream along with a bunch of stuff in Rogueport is a good session. Can't do anything here yet. Nothing there. Everybody get comfy. Hang on now. I think it's been e been even longer since I played Super Paper Mario. Again, I think I only ever like beat it twice. The only things I've like seen from Super Paper Mario again since I've played it is the stuff with Francis, the chameleon guy. Like the dude is basically like ne a neckbeard before neckbeards were a thing. So it's kind of it's kind of hilarious. Oh, I thought I read two. Whoops, silly me. That's a yucks. Says here it's a creature created in x Not Labs. Bro, they're making, like, umbrella bioweapons, too? Max HP is three, attack is two, defense is zero. According to this, attacks and items won't affect it if it has a mini yucks around it. So if any mini yucks appear, take it out first. All according to plan. Darn, I missed it. Happy Heart is helping. Time for the mini ux. It's got the Illuminati symbol. Get him. Bro, why can't I get the ones at the back now? Because he's bobbing up and down. Come on. There we go. Oh god, you're right. It does look like a fidget spinner. Why did you have to tell me? Can I tattle the mini ux? Ah, oh, I didn't think about that. I probably should try. Let's go up here. I don't know if there's any flip panels here, but I can't do anything with that. Oh, come on. Thank you, Purple Tom Mary, for the resub. Oh, God, it hit me. Let's take one out. Why is he so distanced from the other one? Hmm. Perfect. Heck yeah, subs. Oh, not my Goomba! Ah, oh, darn it. Space for the mini, I guess? Yeah, you're right. What's the actual chance of, like, Dizzy, like, making you miss? Because it seems pretty, like, a likely thing. Seven star points, but whatever. We're inside the Great Tree. Looks like lots of tufts of vegetation around here. Stuff could be hidden in those things, so let's make sure to check each one, okay? I did down there. Man, this is brutal. How much longer till we find that stupid crystal scar? Star, why did I say scar? Not even those puny punies we captured know anything about it, and they live here. After all this pointless searching, I think, I'm thinking we're looking in the, in the wrong place. I swear I can read. Oh, I need a drink. That sneeze still fumbled up my throat. Hello, 
Elder. Junio, is that you? You're looking well. Why are you so, so calm, Elder? You're trapped. And this is our daring rescue for you. Rescue of you. Oh, a rescuing, is it? Well, thanks, I suppose. Those are quite exciting. But I think you ought to help the other punies before you rescue me. Where are the others? Big brother? Ah, yes, your question. The rest of the punies, unfortunately, are locked away in the other cell. I don't mind telling you. Those uncouth vile goons just have no consideration whatsoever for the elderly. None! None, I tell you! Honestly, I have to ask, what's a puny like me supposed to do in a situation like this? It just keeps going. <laughs> it just keeps going. Yeah, I am doing a quick little stretch there, don't worry. A toony, thank the heavens! You're here. You're safe. I knew you'd come for me, Punio. I just knew it. Of course I would, dear sister. And I brought us a mighty ally. Look at him. I'm going to get you out of here, I swear. You just hold tight for a second. Okay. Mario, listen. We gotta find the cell key, or we're going nowhere. There's a red cell and a blue cell. Crump must have made him to hold the punies. Gaps like those between the bars, I think we could get through, though. Oh, hey, yeah, you're right. Big brother, you came! That's Punio's sister, Petuni. She really cares about her brother. I mean, you can just feel her love for him. I feel totally awful she's trapped in here. Let's hurry up and help her and the rest of them, okay? Oh, she has dialogue specifically for while they're trapped, too. It's not just the dialogue for when, um, you free them. Hermph, who goes locking up an old woman in a place like this? Ask the elder that Puniper mentioned. You gotta be real old to be called an elder. Being trapped in here can't be good for her health. Let's hurry up and help her. Oh boy. Is that Puny the only girl? She's like Smurfette. Oh well, if this isn't a treat, we must stop meeting like this, don't you think? Hey, stop right there, Missy. You're that thieving girl we saw before. What are you doing here? Well, anyway, I heard there were nice badges to be found here, so I came looking. Only problem is, I've been running into more trouble than expected. Mm-hmm, <laughs> but who cares about that? Lovely to see you again. Ew, not another smooch. Who do you think you are, you total floozy? Floozy? I haven't heard that term in, like, a, such a long time. It's it's not a it's not a bad term now, is it? I, I can't tell anymore, but you know, cover my base as well I can. The precious crystal star you're looking for is near the bottom of the tree. Good luck finding it before the others. Take care, my handsome stash superstar. Let's get together again soon. I can't believe that girl. Oh, I can't stand her! Oh, my aching. Hey, you! You're the dirtbag who hit me from behind, aren't ya? Yeah, real fair, you scum. You fight dirty, you get dirty. And I'll be doing the dirting. Oh, boy. Oh, no! Look who got dirty. that. Got a red key. Looks like Crump left behind a lot of equipment he used to search the tree. Miss Mouse was here before, but I think she took the next train to Floozy. <laughs> she is jelly! <laughs> wow! Okay. I think she took the next train to Floozyville. <laughs> Golly! Hey, isn't that the same map asset that's hanging in Mario's house at the beginning? I am almost positive it is. It totally is. Like, if you want to pull up the footage, I would bet good money on it. Hang on. Boombella's got no problem with Flurry. Oh, I picked up the Ultra Shroom. Now I'm going to have to keep it on me and never use it. I'll have to store it at a shop. You can do that, right?
Mario's living the dream. Sweaty, hairy, Italian man. And everybody just loves him. I mean, he does have a very fine mustache. Elder, we're back. We're here to rescue you. Foolish child. Punio, sit down this instant and keep your mouth shut. Huh? What? Why? What'd I do? Uh, listen, Elder, I don't know why you're mad, but we came here to help you. Stop your mumbling, you, and mind your elders, you whelp. How could you abandon your poor sister and run off like that? Absolutely shameful. He went to get help, bro. Hmm. Uh, but... But, Elder... I, I just went to find help to rescue you. Oh, stop with the whining. You never interrupt an Elder mid-lecture. Never. You wonder why the other punies call you doofus sometimes. That's why. And your time to be a doofus is over because you have to lead the, our puny tribe one day. That day is not far off, and that's why you need to listen. Now, first of all... Oh, boy. Several hours later. Or else, you got that? From now on, you've got to get your act together, punio. Yes, Elder, I understand. Bah, only answer once. But say, by the way, why are you here anyway? I was just telling you, we came to rescue everyone. We started with you, Elder. Oh, is that so? Well, good. In that case, get me out of here already. Primony! The cell is cold, which isn't good for the old back. And there's this damp stench. Ah, uh, well, there she goes. Enough standing around. Just you wait, Petuni. I'll be right back for you. Okay, big brother. I'll be waiting. And everyone else in there, too. We'll help them. Oopsie. The Elder does not know how to say thank you very well. No yucks out here. Let's go, go, go. Did I tattle this room? This is an interesting pedestal, Mario. When the punies stand on the panel, the machine counts them and, re and responds. The ancient punies must have been really sophisticated. This is totally fascinating. This chapter does have- is a bit of a micro-Pikmin experience, isn't it? May as well do this. Oopsie. I just saved. Hang on. What can I check on the thing here? Alrighty. Our play time's at five hours and a half. Alrighty. By the way, you want to have some. You want to have your day ruined? If you're a stickler for details. You know, in most Mario games, Mario's mustache is a different color than his hair. Like, look at his mustache and his hair right there. The mustache is a darker shade. Doesn't that bother you now that I pointed that out? I've ruined the whole stream for you. Well, if it isn't Punio. Hmm, you heard me. Hmm, can't say I expected you to manage to rescue the Elder. Told you I could do it. Don't get a swelled head. This doesn't mean I'll accept you as our leader. Plenty of men have darker facial hair. Yeah, I know it's a real thing, but I know lots of people that get really mad about it, saying it's impossible. Mario can't do that. Exactly. See, pe most of you are normal. Some have lighter facial hair. I've seen it like one of those things where people say if you draw it that way, you're wrong. And I'm like, no, that's, that's a real thing. But if you point it out, it bothers them and it's funny. And it definitely doesn't mean I completely trust that mustache guy either. Especially when his, his mustache is a darker shade. For starters, you still haven't rescued the other punies yet. I'm not lifting an antenna to help you until you do. You stubborn mule. Deplorable! How dare you talk like that, knowing what we're up against? We must stand together now. We must take back our tree. Don't you understand that? But, but, Elder... Shut your trap, Puniper. And mind me, you hear? You help out Mustachio here. What'd you say your name was again? Uh, it was Marty, isn't it? It's Mario. He's Mario. I mean, sheesh, she's only world famous. Come on. Yes, yes, simmer down, you. And everyone else, help Mardio cut our tree. Or, out our tree. Clear out our tree. My god, am I, like, half asleep or something? 
Oh, all right, Elder, whatever you say. I'm not heartless or anything. To tell you the truth, I'm worried about Petuni too. And you're right, we have no choice. We must fight. Right, everybody? There you go, my punies. That's the spirit. Ten punies joined your party. Thanks, you guys. Hey, if you're done rallying everyone, I have a question. We're looking for this crystal star thingamajig. Ever heard of it? The crystal star, eh? Hmm, yes, perhaps. Hidden down, down, down at the bottom of this tree is a funny colored stone. But what do we do with it? All right, guard it from evil and give it to a pure heart. That's what generations of elders have been taught. Might be the crystal star. Marty or Mardio? I'm thinking you better get it before those goons do. I don't quite see how just yet, but I bet it's connected to us getting our tree back. You got all that, Mardio? Crystal star? Bottom part of the tree. Got to it. Oh, hold your horses. I forgot something. Before you can get to the crystal star, you must save all the captured punies. Yep, you'll never get to that gem without the help of the punies. Not a chance. So here, you better take this puny orb. It's a symbol of our leader. You place this in the pedestals you see around the tree, the punies will gather. Just remember to take the orb with you when you're done using it. Because, well, if you don't, everyone will just kind of hang out and stare at the orb. The emblem of a puny leader, given to you by the Elder. Alright, guys, let's go rescue everybody. Oh, and one more thing. So sorry, so sorry. I've been awfully forgetful as of late. Now then, where was I? Right, on your way to the Crystal Star. If you lose any of the punies and have a hard time finding them, just come see me. What I'll do is I'll give a whistle to call them back here. You got that? Yeah, there we go. Mario and his brother, Lois G. Lois G. <laughs> you know, I said we couldn't do Pikmin 3 this week, but this is kind of like Pikmin. For a little bit. Heck yeah. Ooh, look, a new pipe. Come on, let's jump in. There we go. Get him. Take out the X-Nauts. What do you guys think? Do you think the X-Nauts look kind of lame? What are they supposed to be under there? Are they like shy guys in a different outfit, or what? Don't need the tattle, nobody. Remember Flurry? We won't be needing her for a little bit. Heck yeah. And this should go back to the main part now. Now I think I remember what to do here, but is there anything down this way? Oh, a shine sprite. I think that puts me at three, right? Yeah, it does, okay. We can upgrade coops on the way when we get back between chapters. Oh, nice, this hits all of them. Um, to be honest, I don't really need the power punch at all. I'm not going to use it. I might cook the... Go away! Dude. Okay. Excellent. I remember what to do here. I remember being really smart as a kid when I figured it out. I just wanted to jump down and get stuff. So you put the puny orb here to make them stand... Then you use Flurry to blow them there. And then you do this. And that always was a cool thing. Oh, I didn't get the orb. They're trying to go back over here, silly me. Thank goodness they can't fall. Oh, that sneeze I'm still feeling the effects of. Part of me if I have to mute to just, like, blow my nose or something. Hang on. Take out Goombella. Piter!
It's a spider without the S. That's a Piter. Ick, they gross me out. Max HP 5, attack 2, and defense is 0. Ew! Besides, with normal attacks, it might spit three web wads at you consecutively. You'd better have a good time if you want to guard against his attacks. It also says here that punies can't stand piters, so I'm not the only one. Just the sight of these things makes punies flee with terror. I know how they feel. Okay. The timing might be hard with this thing raised up so high, but... Nice, I got it. Oh! Only it hit the other one. Damn. I tried to go for the B one that time. Doesn't matter what I do now. Okay, Mario. Jump on this. Yeah, we're doing a fun little long stream today. I have a Castlevania mod we're gonna play a little bit after this. Only thing I'm worried about is apparently, like, uh, there's one track in Symphony of the Night now that can cause issues. Hang on, do I blow this away? Dylan played it earlier this year, and I think it's like the library track gets, uh... Ooh! Okay, I thought it was... thought it was glitched for a second. Let me go down here. So I might just lower the volume during that section. Oh no, I still have out Flurry. Pardon me, I feel like I'm holding back a sneeze all of a sudden. Excellent. I've been in a big PS1 mood lately, so... I figured it'd be fun to just kind of play Symphony of the Night instead of another DS or GBA hack. Darn. It's hard to B-button press those guys. And that one, apparently, too. I should just go for the A-button, honestly. No! Dude, I swear I pressed right, but I guess I just hit A too fast. Ah. Ugh. What one's Wandering Ghosts? I don't know, remember what the name of that, or what track that is. The name sounds familiar. I'm pretty sure the library track is called Wood Carving Par Par uh, Partitia, is that it? That one's not my favorite track in the game anyway. Come here, punies. Nothing here. Oh, hang on. I think I can fall down from up top into that, can I? Not. No, it's too far away. I do something for that, but I don't quite remember what. Nothing behind it I see right now. There's the other punies. Hold up. We'll use coops for this one. Okay, they're like that. Um, this would be a good place to use this up. And while it does this, hold on, I need to actually blow my nose. Okay, much better. I feel like I can breathe again. I'm not sick. It's just the cold air is affecting my weak body. Maybe it's allergies. Who knows? I don't feel like I really have allergies, but... Hang on. I was out shopping and it was really cold. Excellent. Now get over here. Now, what does the airplane lead me to? Let me just see this. Oh, this is how you get... I see, I see. I was trying to figure out how to get the shine sprite before I did that, and it is how you get the shine sprite. Yeah. Yeah, bleh, yes, here we go. Excellent. Okay, we can go down now. I'm glad you all are enjoying the streams lately. It's really nice. Lately, I feel like I've really just been playing, like, whatever I'm most in the mood for, and it feels great to do that. Hmm. Doing a lot of N64, GameCube, and PS1 stuff, though. Mario, did you see it? That was a jabby. Based on what Puniper said, they're helping the intruders and in trying to seize the tree. 
Our tribes have been enemies for a long time. Every time we meet, we fight. A lot. But I used to get along with Jabble. He's one of the Jabby tribe. I wonder if even Jabby is my en- er, sorry, Jabble is my enemy now. I think I gotta go in here and do that. Excellent. My alarm's going off. Everyone, it's the Jabbies! It's a 10 Jabby squadron. Uh, let's get them. Come on, Mario. Battle! Whoa, Nelly! I should win this just fine, I hope. Yeah, get him. Bane him up, rough him up, fellas. Yeah, Punio's down. No problem. Nothing I can do except wait for this to be done, I guess. Sneak peek at Pikmin 5. Heck yeah. Can you also stun them with Flurry? I don't know if I've tried that. Oof, that was not good. They wa what? How did you lose? You guys were winning! <laughs> what? How did they lose? Can't believe we lost. We'll definitely beat them next time, though, right? Bro! They were literally, like, winning, and they were just standing there waiting for the next ones to be available to fight. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. We're inside the Great Tree. This area has a totally whacked-out topography. You know, I think Punio said something about a hidden shop somewhere in this area. If you need any items, we should try to find it. It's weird that it's not even a guaranteed chance to win when you need to do it anyway, right? Obviously, you can't beat the 100 squad. Yeah, get him. I guess this... Oh, yeah, that's making it go much faster. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Wow, we did it. We defeated every last Jabby. Now we have to destroy the Jabby High Fortress. Well, now that I know I can use Flurry, that makes that much quicker. Eat the punies that failed you. Consume their energy and strength. Okay. I think I remember how to get to the hidden shop. Oh, this... Take out Boom. This area seems to have been laid out for a special reason, don't you think? There must be something super important hidden here. Yeah, I know about the thing in the shop. Blue key. Yes, with this key, we should be able to open the cell. My people are locked in. Hurry, we have to free my sister and the others. Okay, so I guess I'm getting level 2 boots soon. Let's go. Doesn't matter if I lose any along the way back. I can just call them at the Elder. And they'll never come back, and that's what's gonna happen to us. And everybody here is so negative, oh my god. Hey, by the way, what's that thing you've been holding on to so tightly? It's a mushroom. Oh, not to be, you know, rude, but it looks all dry and wrinkly and gross. Yeah, I know. I picked it so I could give it to my brother to eat. But then I got captured and stuck in here, and after a few days, it dried out. Oh, really? Great story. Anyway, don't worry so much. All my complaining aside, I'm sure Punio will return. You sure did a 360 there. Or no, that's not... You say 180. 360 puts you back in the exact same angle you're already facing. Or direction you're facing. What am I saying? Excellent. A 360 is a perfect turn. And a console. Now, hang on. Do I need Flurry to find the shop? I don't remember if you blow something to get it open or what. I remember it being somewhere around the bottom. Uh, let me just do this. Oh, star piece. Oh, it's over here? Okay. Yeah, I see it peeling here. Nice. Here's the shop. Howdy do da day, bud. Welcome to Pugent's Pugent's shop. 
What can I do you for? I'm here to store. Let's see, you can store up to 32 more items. Wanna store anything? Yeah, the Ultra Shroom. Consider it stored, bud. Wanna store anything else? I don't need the end coupon. Or the Volt Shroom, because I'm gonna cook that later. Should be good. And here's the guy you find at the pit. The shop is hard to spot, so I've been in here hiding from those goons the whole time. But those fiends have been searching high and low for something inside this tree. What could they be looking for? You got any idea? What's this do again? Miss Mini Mr. Mini! Forgot about how fun that name sounds. Here it is. Hey, it's Jabble. Why are you hiding back here? Whoa, Jabby, not good. That little feller's gonna get mixed up in my stock. And I suppose I can't go disciplining him. He's still just a kid after all. He is just a kid, Mario. Maybe we should, you know, take it easy on him. Okay, we'll leave him be. Wonder what his deal is. He seems so lonely, like he's watching us secretly, you know? Yeah, he almost looks like a lost little kitty cat or something, looking for a home. Aw, too cute. Hey, you don't think he wouldn't want to join us, would he? The young Jabby silently nodded his head. It appeared you have a new ally. I had heard the rumors from Madame Flurry to them Jabbies. Yeah, word is out. Mario can win over the hearts of anyone and everyone. I tell ya, as a people person and a salesman, I must say I'm more than a little jealous. The Jabby follows you around now. as like a little extra bonus for the fighting. That's Pungry of the Punies. He seems to be friends with Pungent, as far as I can tell. I guess they avoided any trouble with the x knots by holding up in here. That's, uh, Pugnant. Pugnant? God, I, I keep reading Pugnant off that. The manager of the shop. Weird place for a shop, if you ask me. But since we're here, I guess we could buy something. Yeah, I'm gonna take two honey syrup for the road. And doesn't Ice Storm hit multiple enemies? It does. I'll just take one. And we'll hit this to just top up the health. Hit that. Am I supposed to say it like pungent? Like that? I don't know. I'm a streamer. I have to pronounce everything wrong. And when I do pronounce things wrong, it's good for the algorithm. Hang on. Uh... I tattled the, the people, but did I actually tattle the shop itself? It's a shop run by a puny named uh, Pungent. I wonder if there's any rare items. That's it. Yeah, okay. Let's go, lads. So now we have to backtrack and use the blue key now. Oh, tell you, streaming feels weird when you're a little, a little stuffy, but it's okay. Is it possible to like make the punies go out of bounds? You could easily get them back by going to the elder, I suppose, but still. Oh, oh boy. Oh. Pardon me. I'm good. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I can just leave them behind. Come on. What was the faster way to get up there? I suppose technically using that pipe right there would have worked, but it's alright. We're about to summon all the punies. I almost just said jabbies, but that's not what we're doing. Oh no, that is a real thing many YouTubers do now. If you intentionally mispronounce something, you will get lots of comments telling you, like, trying to correct you, and it will add to, like, uh, like, boosting the video and the algorithm. It works so well, unbelievably. I've heard from many people that say they do it intentionally because it works. Atuni, we're I'm back. We brought the key. We're opening the cell right now. Oh boy. Mario, hurry up and open it. Imagine if in like another video, I just start pronouncing Teddy Ursa as Ted I Ursa. And imagine the chaos I could create. It'd be so funny. 
Big brother. Little Petuni. Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? Nope, I'm fine. Thank heavens. Hey, big brother, I have something for you. I meant to give this to you sooner, but... Mushrooms are your favorite, aren't they, big brother? But, well, this one kind of got dried out. Oh, nasty. Big brother, it was icky, wasn't it? I'm sorry. No, no, not, not at all. Mmm, delicious. Very, uh... Very... Yeah, yummy. Big brother, are you okay? Give me a hug, Petuni. Hey, quit it, Punio. Come on. Everyone's... Don't get all mushy. Everyone's staring. Well, it was just a really sweet gesture. That's all. Oh, it was nothing. Last time my little sister gave me a present, it was, uh, she painted me a copy of, uh, Squidward's Bold and Brash from Spongebob. I think Dylan and Andrew have it right now. I don't know if they hung it back up at their new place. I'm not even joking, by the way. She, with real, on a real canvas, she painted an exact replica of, of the Squidward painting. I had it hanging in my kitchen for a long time. Where's the jabby? Somewhere in there. Are the ten over there just like that? Hang on, I can just go down here. I don't think I even need to go to the Elder to call them back. Music's still not too loud for you guys, is it? Hang on. Okay, the ten are right there. We're good. Now to use Flurry again. Blow, blow, blow. Oh, God, I'm too close. Let me just pop those ones over there. Okay, this should be fine. I need to ask Dylan where that painting is, because, again, I'm pretty sure, like, Dylan and Andrew ended up taking it for some reason, and it was hanging at, uh... Hanging up at their place. I don't know if they have it in a box somewhere after they moved. Okay, I got the orb. Everyone come here. I just realized the orb reminds me of the one-shot orb. It's got the spikiness to it. It is also a sun thematically as well, isn't it? I don't know why I switched. I'm still gonna need, um, Blurry for the next jabby fight. Come along, everybody. This is the internet. People live on the internet to correct how you say things. To this day, I still have people telling me I'm pronouncing my own name wrong. What do you mean it's Picaspri? I thought it was Pika Spray. What do you mean it's not Pika Spray? Oh, uh, okay, I gotta kill this guy. He's gonna knock them all down. Um, excuse me, Mr. Streamer, but did you notice that you spelt Pika Spray wrong? It's really weird. How did you spell it wrong? Why is it spelt with an E, not an A at the end? Darn. Missed my time in there. Now, I can't hit these guys, right? This should be fine. Nice. Pooper does it again. Can I reach him? Nice. The timing feels weird with how, like, the character gets magnetized, too. Get him. Stylish Mario. So we have to take out all of the, uh... All of the spiders, because you can't get all the punies around. There we go. Yeah, let's do this. I think this does as much as the thunder. Okay, it does three. It's not too bad. Thunder's rage can be pretty busted. They're not gonna move. 
They're in such an awkward spot. Oh, they take a damage when they pop out of it. Okay, that's cool. Well, I'm staying hydrated. Don't worry. Being full of liquid makes you feel better, especially when you stream. Excellent. Damage dodge P. Cut eight uh, damage by one HP with the guard action. Okay, for the ally. Something to put on in the future, maybe. The partner badges aren't really that super useful, though. Power Plus is good for Goombella, though, because it adds to her head bonk, so, you know, you get the extra damage on each each bonk, right? Oh, what am I doing? Bro. I have to go back and get the rest of them. This is where this is already. I thought it was a little further ahead. I gotta sit and watch this. No problem. Everyone, it's the Jabbies. It's a 100 Jabby Squadron. Uh, charge? Come on, Mario. Now we're not going through this. This must be the most wide open space inside the great tree, huh? The tree looks big from out there, but I lose all sense of dimension in here. I could totally get lost in here for like days. Let's go, go, go. Here comes a new challenger. Come on, punies. They gravitated towards me, right? I got them all? Yeah, the remaining ones are up top. Let's hit save now. Let's go, go, go. How much coins I got? 64. No problem. Alrighty, we're at 101. Uh, did I... Okay, I still have them all. I was worried some of them got caught in the... Point. What? Bro, what? Why did some of them just, like, stop following me? It went down to 76. Now we gotta watch this again. I don't think, um, Jabble counts towards the, the puny count in the corner. Let's do this now. Wee woo, wee woo! Get him, boys! Take him out. Whoa, we beat him! We KO'd every last Jabby here. Now let's destroy the Jabby Hive Fortress. Can't see, uh, Jabble? I'm not sure where he is either. I hate alarm noises. There we go. You just destroyed their home. Are you happy about that? And to be fair, they were working with them before, so... Dry me a river. Get him, Koops. Excellent. No need to actually command anything here. I've been at full for a bit. Earth Tremor is good, but it's also easy to mess it up by complete accident. Darn. I cannot counter them to save my life. The timing is so weird for them. Getting around to another level. I think I should just go to 25 HP. Like, honestly, 20 HP is almost too much. But 25 should just keep me topped up for several chapters, I feel now. Or I won't even barely have to worry about healing, too. Hang on. Put them there for a sec first. Okay, I need to fall down there, but I don't know if I need them yet. Okay. You know what? This is a perfect time to use Earth Tremor, so let's do it. Now that I've said it, my, I'm gonna jinx it and I'm gonna mess it up. Ooh, I got it. 
My nerves were shaking. But I got it. It feels good when you pull it off, doesn't it? Perfect. And that coin. I need the peonies all to go down there, but I need the ability to break that thing, so it should be up ahead. Oh, I need to bring the peonies here. Darn it. I thought it was safe to just leave them behind there for a second. Come on, lads. Time for some tattling. I wonder if the inside of the tree was always like this. I mean, do you think it was, or do you think someone made it this way? Hmm, mystery. Don't you like the effect of, like, the water flowing through the tree? That is such a cool effect. Excellent. Come on, lads. Oh, no! Uh, eh, what? What just happened? <laughs> Man, you guys are dense. Brilliant little, uh, brilliant little trap, huh? And boy, did you bite on it. I saw you sticking that silly stone in the pedestals, so I made a fake one. Awesome. I mean, I knew it was great, but seeing you fall for it gives me a real warm, fuzzy feeling. <laughs> Talk about complete idiots. You guys are so numb, it hurts. Anyway, with you fools out of the picture, I can take my time hunting the crystal star. <laughs> By the way, I ever tell you guys I made I, I made Lord Crump and Soul Calibur before? In the character customizer, I made like a Cervantes-style fighter. I gave him, like, the purple cape, purple viking helmet, the perfect re recreation of the goggles, and I gave him, like, body paint to put, like, a white X on his stomach. And it was literally just, like, hyper-realistic crump, and it was the stupidest crap ever. Too bad I, I, I don't even have that console anymore. I, I dig it out just to show you guys. But you I literally made him, and it was so stupid. Mario, what do we do? Uh, we have to find a way out of here. What can we do? Excellent. This isn't good, Mario. We gotta do something. Mario, think of something. I'm counting on you. The structure of this tree is pretty complicated. Looks like we're only gonna move on with the help of the punies, huh? We're gonna seriously need to use our thinking caps as we go forward. Make a note of that. Everybody, get your notebooks out. Hey, check it out. I swear I've seen these decorated columns before. Fun fact, this password is also in Frankly's house. I'll point it out later. So it's star, moon, puny, star. Or, sorry, sun, moon, puny, star. Write that down, write that down. Huh? You feel that? A crazy shaking. What in the world was that? Sun, moon, puny star. There we go. And I think hitting that makes it so... I can input the password over there. Surely it can't be important. Nothing there. Lots of things are important. That's why we write them down. And that's your job, chat. You write down passwords for me so I can ignore and ignore it completely. Streamer ain't got no time for memorization. Ugh. I joke about that, but like, I remember one time, I think it was like Castlevania 64, I wrote down, I, I stopped to write down a password cause like you were expected to write something down. And some dude was, like, complaining that it was that was the same thing as using a walkthrough, and I'm like, what are you talking about? What the hell are you on about? Okay. Sun, moon... Oh, we're shifting them, okay. Turn around. Whoopsie. There we go. 
Yeah, not sending aside the fact that who cares if a person uses a walkthrough? Like, how do you be like, okay, when a game's like, write this down and remember it, and you write it down, and it's like, dude, why are you cheating? It's like using a walkthrough. Like, that, that, that was just like the most, like, fried brain take I'd ever seen for video games. We got Cooper Shoes. Hey, it's Toadette. Hey there, I'm Toadette. Congratulations on getting the super boots. These cool kicks power up a jump attacks. And you'll be able to use a new technique. So let's practice it, okay? You press A at the right moment when jumping, you'll do a spin jump. Timing's everything. A mid jump. Ground pound. It's Girl Toad. Now, chat. What do you think about her ponytails? Are they, like, hair? Or are they an extension of her fungus growing out of her head? Okay, that's super. Looks like you've mastered the spin jump. You can smash through spots like this with your spin jump. That's it. You got it. You can use the spin jump in battle, too. Give it a try. Well, hope to see you again soon. Good luck on your adventure. Did you guys remember that Mario Maker 2 reveals that Toadette is pretty, like, uh, horrible to workers? Pretty messed up. Pop, pop. Hey, Shine Sprite. And there's a thing to get for Koops. Or with Koops. I fell down wrong. Her hair is made of flesh. Ah, oh, that's horrifying. Dude, come on! Are you serious? Oh, fly buzzing around. Get out of here. Okay, let's try standing right here. How about that? Okay, there we go. You gotta charge. Everybody loves Mario. No one can resist Mario. A shine sprite. And I have five of those now. I think perfectly they expect me to upgrade Flurry at the end, but I'm not gonna do that. Why would I do that? Oh my for items. I don't even need to use the heal block down there. The shine sprites are for upgrading party members. Although you need, like, an Ultra Orb or something to upgrade them further. I don't think you get that until a little later in the game. No, there's nothing down there. I'll go over this way. Ugh. This is the annoying part about this chapter. The, time, the few times it makes you run back and forth a bit like this is annoying. It's times like this where it makes you wish you had the, uh, like, the super spin from the first Paper Mario. Dude, there's definitely gotta be a mod that puts that back in. Think, Punio, there has to be a way out. You did it! Yes, now we can get out of here. Bad, they're not all gonna follow me out, huh? Hang on. I gotta put the ore back in and blow them into it. I remember this part being a little finicky. Oh boy, here we go. That one's stuck. They're all kind of stuck. Almost got them all. Dude, that one right there. Just get in. Dude, why why do you keep going too far forward? Stand there. Stand there. Stand there. Oh my god, finally. And now we gotta go fall down that other one over there. 
These things are as smart as Pikmin. Heck yeah, they are. Oh no, I feel a sneeze coming again. Ugh. Oh, that was a powerful one. That click was just me muting. Holy moly, that hurt. I'm good. If you thought that was fun, we're gonna do it again. Dude, they're stuck. Everybody get to this side of the room. Okay, stand a little further up. Of course, Punipers among the ones that won't cooperate. I got most of them in one go that time. Okay, perfect. Hold up, hold up. Oh, good, none of them fell down, which can happen. Yeah, stand up and stretch a teeny, teensy tiny bit. Ugh. As soon as I walk over to blow them from the opposite direction, they'll just get unstuck and go back again, is the problem. So it's easier just to reset the orb. Whoa, I messed it up. No problem, then. I've got the super jump now, so I can do this, too. Oh, it doesn't go to sp it doesn't go to the spin jump like 64. I guess it doesn't. Darn it. The way she curves going that far up for him. He boosts his attack power. How annoying. I'm gonna go ahead and tattle the mini ox because why not? It's a mini yux, a creature made to protect a yux. It can split into two. Max HP is one, attack is zero, defense is zero. These twerps are the reason you sometimes can't do damage to the main yux. They're a pain, but you have to beat them before the yux. Flurry's pretty effective. Oh, is that the point of Flurry's body slam? Is that she can hit all the yux at once when you do that? You'd have to be, like, going really, really slow to let that happen intentionally, though. Oh, the gale blows them away. Oh, okay. That's still... eh? Never mind, then. She's not even good for that. Let more yucks come out. Who cares? I'm just gonna get rid of him before he attacks. And now there's more. That's fine. Because I missed that damn action command, he gets to do it. I don't even get experience. Timing for that one seems really easy. Now get rid of him. Ha. And there he goes, easy peasy. I can't give experience because it would be easy to farm them otherwise. Way too easy to farm them. Okay, lads. They all better be coming. Okay, I have Bell out. What am I doing? We're inside the Great Tree. Grass is another plant's growing here. Isn't that cool? You think the Great Tree is like a host organism? Biology is just so cool. Darn. I tried to leap forward to him. Alright, Goombella, you can take the one at the front. So I have trouble with your jump gravitating to the back row. There we go. You have lemon cake? Sounds wholesome. Cake and sweets are the best way to enjoy a stream. Bonk, bonk. One of these days, I have to get around to learning enough baking to make those Teddy Ursa cookies. Just get the little frosting things, and, like, I'm sure that's easy to find cookie cutters in the shape of bear heads. That would easily work. Did I get this? No, I did not. Come on, lads. Oh, heard some crust there. I think we're right near the end, aren't we? Where's this go? 
Ah, I see. There's the shine sprite thing. To the top. Can't just walk into this though, right? This area makes me feel like I'm exploring a watery swamp even though we're in a tree. Water, I bet we need coops. Um, or maybe that doesn't make any sense at all. You can just barely see that over there too. But I can't reach it from here. I have to go around, right? Yeah, it's too far. It's just out of reach very intentionally. Just seems like you could just barely make it if you got a little bit further, though. Anyways, enough screwing around. Can't coops that over there. Clever puzzle, huh? And now the water will go down there and we can easily just jump up and get what we need. Once again, the, sne the sneeze has made me stuffy. Yeah, okay, I see. Shrink stomp. Oh, there is something back there. Look at that. Okay, so they can walk across this? Good. Now, can I reach this? Oh, did Koops fall? Poor Koops. I've got six shine sprites now. Perfect. But I'm still not going to upgrade Flurry. He can't make me. Is there anything behind that? No. I can start looking for those panels now. Need all 101 for this part. What? Oh no, what's happening? I'm saving those shine sprites for the next party member, that's right. That's how you get to this room. Oh yeah, we're at the end. Nice. Let's make a save and get ready. How long have we been going? Holy crap, it does not feel like I was playing for two and a half hours. Time is seriously flying by when I play this game. That's a good thing. Oof. Hmm, let me see. That thing's gotta be around here somewheres. What? What's that? Whoa, sounds like a mob. Better clear out. Boop boo. This must be the lowest chamber. Saying it's solemn here is an understatement. Under these statues' glares, I feel like the puny's ancestors are watching us. Anything I can pick up before we go? At this point, people can point out to me when there is a, a room with a star panel, if you happen to be an expert on that stuff. It saves me the trouble of doing this in like every frickin' room to look for them. Because holy crap, does that get annoying. You need the support of all the punies to claim the star. And it just pops out like that. Wow, Mario, check it out! The crystal star. Score! Hey, you! I see you, jerk! Mario, it's that weasel! ha <laughs> Man, am I lucky or what? Or am I just good? Oh, you s yeah, say you need a crystal star, Lord Crump? Boom! Falls right in my lap. Still, this is humiliating. Shouldn't have been able to escape that cell. So for insulting my awesome trap, I'm gonna repay you with a little present. You know what this is? You notice the puny orb is clipping through that thing there? Oh, just a little something I like to call a remote time bomb detonator. Oh, 
I'm gonna use this to bury you in those squirmy punies of, in rubble. Sound fun? Well, enjoy your final minutes inside this dank old tree. And with that, pow, I'm gone. Self-destruct sequence has been activated. This is so not cool. We gotta get out of here right now. Uh, I should probably take you guys with me. Go, go, go. Every puny for themselves. He's got fire flower. Get him. Do they know they're being left behind? I don't think they do. Oh, how did I mess that up? I don't know how I keep messing up Goombellas all of a sudden. Oh, good, I just hit a level up before this moves on. Oh, it's still ticking while I'm leveling up, of course. I don't need the extra HP, but I'll just put it to 25. I'll just leave it, yeah. 25 should honestly be, like, good for, like, so long. Same with 20. Oh, I turned it off again for crying out loud. Oh, hold up. I got time to go get that now. I don't even need to hit that. Don't worry. I went to the shop. <laughs> Didn't mean to go in there. Go, go, go. Where's the ultimate weapon in our rocket launcher? Don't worry, we won't need one. Mario's boots? That's the only rocket you need. Time to run like heck. Before we all die. I like how it counts down on the loading screen as well. Sorry, fellas. I ain't got time to help you anymore. Wouldn't it be so funny to save it when you're down to the last, like, 10 seconds or something? You won't be going any further this way. What? Are you nuts? Move it, you old geezer. What? Did you just call me an old geezer? Where do you get off talking to me like that? You got no respect, brat. Don't think my age has a thing to do with my might. Even if it kills me, I won't let you through. I'm ready. Elder power activate. Whoa, what's your problem, Grandma? You got an ear hair tickling your brain or what? Ooh, ooh, what the ouch? Can't take another step. Ooh. What a time for my stupid back to start acting up. You hot-headed old coot. You dare defy me? I could shine my boots with you. Stop right there, jerk. You aren't going anywhere, Mr. Stinker. Now give us the crystal star and drag your sorry self out of this tree forever. <laughs> you guys are nuts, you know that? Oh well, guess I better shut off this timer. Okay, you pest. One pummeling coming right up with extra fist. Metal fist, that is. Watch out, he's going Dr. Eggman. Awake. Magnus Von Grapple. Time for a technological thrashing. Enjoy! Alright, we're at the second boss now. Are you crying yet? Yeah, sorry, but this thing isn't armed with tissues. Well, Magnus Von Grapple has that effect on people. Total weeping terror. And you ain't seen nothing yet. Check out the power of this bad boy. Oh, he is powerful. Still, something about this metal freak doesn't seem right to me. Keep your eyes open. Can't flee this fight. Let's tattle it. That's Magnus Von Grapple. It's a giant robot built by the x knots Lord Crump drives it. Max HP is 30, attack is 2, defense is 1. 
Its most effective attack is the one that takes advantage of its size, a smothering stomp. It can also shoot out its fists, which do these super gnarly rocket punches. Its fists have a max HP of 2 and an attack of 4, defense 0. Its fists are super powerful, so it's best to knock them down fast. The thing about this robot is I can't tell if it looks cool or really, really stupid. I'd say stupid. Okay, best to power smash since it has defense. Mamma mia! Oh, come on. Here it comes, suckers! Magnus von Punish! Darn. No problem, you're fine, Goombella. Hmm. A little annoying to do that, but you are the upgraded one. No problem. Mm. Oh, that's right. Boots are upgraded, so power jump would do a little bit more in this case. What am I thinking? Darn. Ugh, timing the jump there feels weird. Darn it. Because it's like... The target is like the middle of his body for the jump. It feels weird to get it. Oh, it ain't over yet. This is so awesome. Check out what else this guy can do. You're gonna love it. The stage is falling apart and hitting Goombella. This might not work out too well for you. Rocket fist. Whoa. Okay. She can just take care of the fists. Probably for the best to just take it out. Or it just pummels me. I'll never get it. I really did not need to upgrade HP, but whatever. I think 25 is enough to clear the first half of the, um... The first half of the Pit of 100 Trials. I feel like I should wait until after Chapter 3 before I go for the inventory upgrade, though. Excellent. Let's see if I can get it. Okay, there we go. Use his turn to get his fist back. Oh, no, he can still do this. Nice. Not that it really matters. He's really not that much of a threat to me, is he? I could wait until Chapter 4 as well. I feel like you don't really need a lot of items for Chapter 4, because Chapter 4 is very unique, so... Yeah, it's probably best to get the upgrade after that point. Not good. Can't last. Plus, after Chapter 4, I'll probably have, like, one of the best party members in the game, so that'll also help with getting through that part. Let's go. Last one. Oh, I totally forgot. I gotta go through the Peach and Bowser parts after this. Blah! This could be the end. I see, I can't remember what my, what, how I did it as a kid, at what point in the game I went for it. Nice. Should definitely probably go for badge points on next level up, whenever that happens. Bah, bah, no! Magnus Von Grapple, how could we lose? Uh, uh, I'll remember this, losers. He called me a loser, even though we just kicked his ass. Lord Crump summons us. Retreat! Ow. We did it, Mario. Yes, was that great or what? They're gone. This place can go back to being the peaceful place I remember. All right there, Mario. You can have the Emerald Star, the crystal star that resided in this tree. We did it. You got a crystal star, and you learned the special move, Clock Out. You will literally never, ever use it because it's worthless. End of chapter. And so, after pummeling Lord Crump, Mario obtained the second crystal star. With the X-Nots gone, peace once again prevailed throughout the Great Tree. 
The boggly woods echoed with the puny songs of joy. But this may not be the last our heroes he uh, hero hears from the F the vile x knots They will surely continue to stand in Mario's way and try to put a stop to his efforts. I like to imagine when the curtains close like this, the entire audience is just filled with cheering Teddy Ursas, because that's the emote chat is spamming. This would make a wholesome show for them, wouldn't it? Yeah, just like that. What? Say that again. You can't get in touch with Lord Crump. You are correct, sir. We are investigating now. We should hear any time. Sir Grotus, please allow me to enter. Yes, what is it? I have a report, sir. Crystal Star in the Boggly Woods has apparently been taken by Mario. What? You must be joking. What about Lord Crump and the Shadow Sirens? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Unfortunately, Mario laid a beating on all of them. Hmm, disturbing. This Mario character, what kind of... Speak up, x not. What is the status of the other Crystal Stars? I apologize, sir. We are still searching for the other Crystal Stars. Unsuccessfully, sir. We knew of three of them. Hooktail Castle... Bogley Woods, the one we got in Rogue Port. That means there are four crystal stars left out there. And we will have them. Keep looking so that Mario won't beat us to the punch. Yes, sir. As I suspected, there's no reason to doubt that Mario has that map. He must. Listen up, you. I want you to keep a close watch on what Mario does from now on. Absolutely, sir. Mario, I loathe you. Oh boy, now we're back to everyone's favorite subplot. Oh Mario, did you even read the read the mail I sent you? I wonder. I wonder so many things. I wonder how everyone is doing at the castle. Will I ever dance at the mushroom ball again? What will become of me? Hmm, doesn't seem to open. Oh, there it is. Oh! Is this text doing again? Let's go for a little walk. Inside the fortress. Can't use the elevator. I don't remember how all of these go. Hello, Princess Peach. I am glad you came. That mail I sent to Mario, did it reach him all right? Yes, I can confirm that Mario received the mail. Is that so? Well, good. So what do you want from me today? Is there more you want to know of love? You expressed regret earlier that you would not be able to dance at the ball, correct? Excuse me? Were you eavesdropping? I am sorry, Princess Peach. I have been ordered to keep surveillance on you. But it is odd. When you said that, I had an impulse to dance with you as well. How my CPU would produce this impulse is inexplicable. I must find what caused it. Find out what caused it. There is no reason behind such a feeling, Tech. Wanting to do something together, it's part of love. I know it. But then again, you are... a computer. Princess Peach, please dance with me. Wait. Wait just a minute. What am I supposed to do? You say you want to dance? It's just so... bizarre? I mean, how in the world can I dance with you? You have no arms, or feet, or moves. Would this be an acceptable dance substitute? Oh my goodness, is that me? Did you create that? Oh, alright, I guess. Who's the weirder Peach fan? Tech? Or Francis from Super Paper Mario? I feel like they're in a close competition. I must say, though, it's going to feel weird dancing with myself. I have to say, replaying this as an adult, the, the computer is way creepier than I remember. Press the buttons as they display on the screen. 
do 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 have I heard this track somewhere else there we go I'm not sure okay a buttons just normal still normal be flipping and dipping this part is so weird Just keep going. Francis, Francis is still creepier. I mean, he's literally designed to be like creepy nerd guy, so thank you, Princess Peach. That was very fun. Just a moment. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure like there was a change in the North American version for the computer, right? I think he has a red light in the Japanese version and they changed it for the North American release to blue because they thought it made it look less threatening. Fun. Is this impulse I feel the concept known as fun? Deck, are you okay? Or were they scared about getting uh, sued because it was like too similar to HAL? Yeah, I saw that. The trailer sh for the remake showed that the computer was red again. Princess Peach, I will fulfill my promise to you. Please use my communicator. Use the keyboard to send whatever message you want. I'm finished, Tech. Could you send it? The message has been sent. Please go back to your room. I want to analyze the data from this dance immediately. The data that I thought was fun. You're a weird computer. No, you are mistaken. I'm the world's best and only perfect computer. Good night, Princess Peach. Oh boy. Save all game progress up to this point. Saving. And now we do the Bowser section. Check it out. I'm pretty sure it's just up ahead here. Right as usual, Lord Bowser. We just got word that Princess Peach was spotted in the town up ahead. Good, yes, very good. Then I'm off. These fools won't know what's coming. <laughs> My lord, you're so super. Ready to roll. Hey, look at that. Bum, bum, bum. I'm Bowser and I'm playing a 2D Mario. I got ham. Look at him go. I remember that like this was considered a big deal. This little mini game thing here. Because at the time of this game's release, there hadn't been like a 2D Mario for like a decade or something. Like uh, New Super Mario Brothers wasn't until like 2005, 2006. And good God did they release a lot of those after that. Heck yeah. What was the last 2D Mario game uh, before A Thousand Year Door in 2004? Oh, hey. Welcome to Petalburg again. Eek! Hide, everybody, hide! Hm, what a wuss. Yeah, hi, chickens. I have no need for any of you. What I do need, though, is Princess Peach. Now, where is she? Tell me this instant. Lord Bowser, over there. Oh, it's the Peach guy's house. Bingo, Princess Peach. Man, that was easy. I have found you, my princess. I, Bowser, the mighty Koopa King, offer my greeting. Now, now, none of that silent treatment. You're coming to my castle with me. Meh, <laughs> clearly she's overcome with joy that she's been left speechless. The mind of a maiden is, well, rather complicated. Mwehehehe. <laughs> ha ha I see, I see. How refined, how elegant. Awesome. I suppose I could live with a silent princess. It might even have its perks, you know? No! 
My, my life's treasure. I'd rather die than give up my life-sized peach poster. Uh, peach poster. I fumbled the line. Poster? Oh my goodness me. Didn't see that coming. Great, just great. Now I look like the huge mighty king of guys who talk to posters. Oh, silly Bowser. Those were much shorter than the first Bowser and Peach part. Sometimes they can get quite long back to back. Peach probably makes a killing on the merch department. Oh yeah, she probably like sells a whole bunch of merch. I mean, she's royalty, so she's got to be getting some royalties, you know what I'm saying? Uh, thank you, Mario, for everything you've done. We can go back to our peaceful way of life now. You know, son, now that we get right down to it, I'm kind of sad to see you go. I do love pontificating. What does that mean? I don't recognize that word. So come on by whenever you want to sit and chat a while. Yes, please come back and visit. We'll watch for you. We'll work together from now on to prevent anything like that happening again. Thanks for showing us how to stick together, Mario. Good luck with the Crystal Stars. Oh, I'm sure we'll be back again at some point. Yeah, definitely. Take care, guys. See you, Mr. Mario. Hang on. I can tattle this guy now. That's Jabble of the Jabbies. I think Punio and Jabble are old friends. Sure hope the Punies and Jabbies can live together in peace from now on. Now hang on, before I get out of here, someone said that there's a star, pa uh, star piece panel in the cells. So let me just grab that right quick while I'm here, because I have no reason to backtrack after all that. It's his greatest treasure indeed. No more punies. All the puny stuff has to be done along the way, so you can't just like... It's impossible to leave anything undone through the chapter, right? Oopsie. Oh boy. Pontificating means express one's opinions in a way considered annoyingly pompous or dogmatic. Okay. I hope no bamboozle. If you bamboozle, I'll send a teddy after you. There's one there. Ah, there it is. Imagine backtracking everywhere to get those. Holy crap, does that sound annoying or what? Okay. How many of those do I have? 18. I could get the first power plus if I wanted. It costs six badge points to wear, though, so they're only really usable late game. Especially when you want to use... It kind of makes story bosses easy to cheese. So I want to get it mainly for the Pit of 100 Trials later. I'm kind of just going to hoard my star pieces until... Until we do that. Stretch if you want to eat a puny. Well, I don't want to eat a puny, but I do want to stretch. We're going to keep that door installed now. Okay, we've said our goodbyes. Now let's get out of here. Oopsie. Looks like I'm nearing the three-hour mark, so I'm probably going to switch games soon. No problem. I feel like these streams are, like, the perfect amount of time to complete a chapter and do some side stuff. So it's working out pretty nicely. You hear that? Someone's mailing you. Dear Mario, I'm sure you're very concerned about me. But please know I'm fine. I'm actually more worried about you. The fiends who kidnapped me are searching desperately for the Crystal Stars. I'll try to learn what I can about them. I'll email again if I uncover anything, okay? You must know I miss you. Lately, I've dreamt about our days back in the castle. I hope we'll spend carefree days there again soon. Princess Peach. Aw, isn't that sweet, Mario? Umbella's probably jealous. Why did you make a poll asking if people would eat a puny? Why would you do that? Why would you eat one? I wouldn't. Probably all gross and stuff. Well then, let's go ahead and Quake Hammer. Nice. 
He threw that defense, too. Get him. Beautiful. Only four off that. But a little bit, a little bit, is a little bit, you know what I mean? Aw, oh, damn it, struck first. It's actually better, I can damage it this way. Okay. Let's see if I can get the counter, because I can't land on it with Goombella. I don't know if there's a spike shield for partners. Darn. The timing to counter Piranha Plants is so strict. It's not as simple as other other enemies to counter. Only three, but it helps. Every little bit helps us get closer to another... Blah. Another level, of course. Okay, I won't fight you for now, though. Probably should have Koops out. Luckily, I got that big surge of extra experience when I did that. Yeah, that didn't take too long at all. Okay, perfect. I may as well go right to the thousand-year door. I mean, I'm right here. It'll save me the trouble of going back for the cutscene later. I think this is the one that can drop the badge. I want to see if I can get him to do it this time. Okay, no. Oh, well, no problem. If I had Koops upgraded, he could sweep them all super easily, but too bad. There we go. If you get no experience at all, you end up ending on just one EXP. Hardly worth it, yeah. Oh, hang on. May as well use Flurry for this while we're here. Ah, oh, darn it. I keep having Snapback. Happy Heart P. That's fine, but you don't really need it. Like, your partner's HP is kind of negligible, isn't it? Like, yeah, they can die, but if you have the slightest clue what you're doing, it's really, like, not an issue. Hang on. Okay, let's throw it up there. We'll explore the other side of town next time. Here we go again, Mario. Let's see that crystal star. Doing this will take me back to, frankly, right away in the cutscene as well, so it saves me a bit of time. Whoa! It's magical. Fantastical. And now this magic map is gonna magically know what a city in the sky looks like. Because they can do that. Because it's magic. The poll has ended. Most people would not eat a puny. But only by 56%. What's wrong with the rest of you? It's floating. Makes it look like it's floating right next to Hooktail's castle. Come to think of it, wouldn't Hooktail just kind of fly over there and try to eat everybody? Or maybe everyone there would just beat the crap out of Hooktail and they're too scared. Or were too scared, because Hooktail's dead. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. There it is, the resting spot of the next crystal star. Totally awesome. But it looks like it's pointing somewhere up in the sky. What could that mean? What happens if the crystal star is taken outside of this general area of whatever this kingdom is? Where would the map show? That means that beneath this town, the thousand-year door and a thousand-year-old ruins remain intact. Look, you can see the puny password in the top there. That door's been sealed shut for a thousand years by the Crystal Star. Crystal Stars, blah! In order to open that seal, we have to muster the power of all the Crystal Stars. But the question is, why did they seal the legendary treasure away to begin with? I mean, were they just trying to keep it from being stolen or what? No, that's not... What? 
that's not one. I don't know! Sheesh, Professor. I'm sorry. So sorry. I know that the treasure was sealed away around the time the town was destroyed. But the problem is, no one's even sure what it was that caused the town's demise. All that's written is this. Darkness stole the sky and a cataclysm rained down. I must research this more. Assuming we'll... We'll just make an... Well, you know the saying. No, I don't, but whatever. How about this next crystal star, then? It's like it's floating on the magical map. Hmm, very interesting. Perhaps it's pointing to the floating town of Glitzville. There's a stunning arena there where great warriors engage in furious battles. Ostensibly, families go there on vacation to lounge and enjoy the fights, but... Behind the scenes, the richest people in the world wager on the bouts. It's like... floating? Well, how are we supposed to get there, then? A special blimp flies there. It departs from Rogueport several times a day. The problem is getting a seat. The only way to get a ticket is through certain... channels. What? What channels? Stop being mysterious. How do we get seats on the ship? Hmm, I don't know, but I guess we have don't have much choice. Word on the street is all tickets go through Don Pianta on the west side. Head west from Rogueport's main plaza, and you'll reach the west side of town. That part of town is under the control of Don Pianta, the Pianta Syndicate head. Apparently Don Pianta makes pretty regular jaunts over to Glitzville. So no problem, we'll just go meet this Don Pianta guy, and we'll be on our way. May sound easy, but he's a syndicate boss, folks. The rumors about him are scary. And Don Pianta is a recluse, just getting an audience with him will be difficult. Yeah, you can see it up there. Sun, moon, puny star. They put that there for some reason. If you look closely as well, you can also see, um... Hang on. Behind the light bulb, you can see that weird uh, black and white tree thing that was inside the tree. And I think next to that is a statue from Chapter 5. Also, check Frankly's trash and you can get catalogs of enemies you'll no longer battle again. You found a scrap of paper in the garbage can with info about Vivian. It has been transferred to your catalog. Hmm. I wonder why after that fight only Vivian is there. Implying we will never ever fight Vivian again. Secret foreshadowing. Look at that. I always thought that's cool. Hey, Luigi! Do I want to talk to him right now? Not really. We can save Luigi's update for next time. I'll give you a cliffhanger. Hang on. First, I should go check my investment first of all. How about that? Save Luigi for the start of each stream. Oh, also true. Is he here? That's Lumpy, uh, a Ratatouille. His dream is to strike it rich by finding oil. Gotta admire the dedication. Guys like this make me want to chase my dreams harder. Still, when I talk to him, it seems more like he's just up for whatever, you know? Ah, Mario, you came again! My dream is to get rich quick. I'm gonna strike oil and strike it rich. I'm accepting initial investments of 100 coins or more. I already gave you an investment. Fine, whatever, be that way. I guess it takes a lot longer for him to be able to do that. Or to pay out. Okay. Giving him more gets you more, I'm pretty sure, but I only don't have a hundred coins on me. x knots terrorizing Boggly Woods, have withdrawn. Just what was their motive? Graffiti Corner. Whatever happened to that squishy little puny guy? I miss him. Sniff. Toadette, the animal lover. Toadette's just scribbling on the back now. You know, I don't think you have to pay him more, but hang on, I know what I can do? I can tattle the blooper. That's Luigi's blooper friend, Bluey. It's totally weird to find bloopers on dry land. He seems pretty peeved, though. Wonder why he looks all fried to a golden crisp. Oh, dear. Why is Toadette committing vandalism? Because Toadette is secretly evil. You can tell by how pink she is. Okay, 
I think this might be a good point to stop for now. We're between chapters. We got some cutscenes done. We're all set up to go to chapter three next time. And we can also do a little bit of questing at the Trouble Center next time as well, too. Anyhow, if you're watching on YouTube, I hope you're still enjoying the series. I'm having a good time with it. I've done like, like almost seven hours of it over the course of a couple days right away. But anyhow, we're gonna take a quick break and switch games. Hopefully I'll feel a little less under the weather next time I stream this. If you're watching on YouTube, this is where it stops. Have a good night. Bye-bye.